because we are here anyway. We don't change up the scenario because you love specifically asked me. You said, <laughs> you know what? You know how fast, um, you know, you know, we break fast at such and such time. Please, can you prolong it? You know that Muslims are going to be doing, um, you know, the tar tarawih. Uh, prayers in the masjid please can you delay it for such and such time it's going to be unfair because every level please delay it, please delay it. and i done my very best and i'm sure christian prince has been doing his very best he's been on since about 9 30 for a whole hour and plus two hours now you know just just manning his own show and continuing doing what he does best all right so we prolonged it as much as we could all I'm asking you guys now, yeah, to do is simply inbox me if you would like to come on to the show. All right, inbox to the show, um, and we will sort this out. Now, I'm checking my emails right now, family. I'm checking my emails right now to see if there's anybody I have missed out. All right, so we've got Bart Connolly. All right, I'm not too sure if you're Muslim or not. You know, I might be biased here because I, I don't. It don't look like a Muslim name, but what is a Muslim name nowadays, eh? All right, so Bart Connolly, um, I have sent you the link, okay? So if there's anybody else that would like the link, okay, uh, especially Muslims, yeah, please holler at me, all right? Um, yeah, Megatron, I've already seen your message. What to do is go over into your Google Hangouts, and you will see that I've already messaged you. Buddha Bing, the same thing as well. Um, you know, just go into your Google Hangouts, and you see I've messaged all of you guys. Okay, so you lot already got front row seats, all right? You lot are my regulars, you lot are my supporters, you lot keep our show running. So please, all right, if you want to come on, all you have to do is check your inboxes. Now, um, I've received several phone calls that people would like to actually ask Christian Prince a question. Unfortunately, because Christian Prince is going to be using, um, he's going to be using uh, Skype, all right? It's going to be very difficult to hook up the Skype with... Um, um, the Skype with the how can I, with the, the with the Hangouts okay it's very very difficult to do especially um especially on the laptop so what I'm going to be doing I will be calling Christian Prince momentarily okay I'm just trying to make sure that is all is all set up all right we've got my brother Zion Lex okay Zion Lex says he'll be in London in July I love to come to speakers corner Kalam yes Zion Lex definitely we'll definitely love to get you on here. Um, or get you in speaker's corner where you know we'll look after you as as always all right um so yeah i, I know i know christian prince is ready don't get it twisted i know prince, please just just bear with me for a little bit for a little bit i'm just trying to make sure that everybody um you know has come on who needs to come on and then i'm going to open it up so we can have your grand and just bear with me for a hot minute okay my apologies so again um right now christian prince is live all right it is vibrant on his channel i'm there right now we have over three tuned in we have over 200 people tuning on my channel right now that's a mass total of 500 plus people i'm um, ready to you know get involved with the discussion dog you know uh, you know get, get into christian prince's mind and get into titans tv uh, flavor Okay, so let's we're gonna start it real soon. Okay, family, we're gonna start real soon. But my my subscribers, if I can get you guys to do me a favor, do me a quick favor. All right, those of you guys who are on laptops, if I can get you just hit a new tab. Okay, type in Arabian Prophet. All right, Arabian Prophet. Sorry, the Arabian Prophet. Let me actually quickly go onto his channel real quickly. All right, let me go onto his channel. So we got the Arabian Prophet right here. So as you can see. This is his channel. What I would love for you guys to do is simply uh, click onto it, all right? Click onto it and subscribe. I've already subscribed. I've already hit the bell icon. You know how I do. This is what you need to do. Subscribe to his channel, hit the bell icon, and show him the support and show him the love. I would love to cross-pollinate and make sure that, you know, a, a, a very... Um, you know, a good number of my subscribers gets to know about Christian Prince. If you're into Christian uh, polemics, if you're into um, information to do with Islam and actually debating Muslims and learning new information, okay, this is the channel that you need to go, all right? This is the channel you need to go to. Check out all of his previous um, shows and posts. So, for example, we got some real controversial ones, right? So we got who killed the Prophet Muhammad, all right? This was the big one. And what do we learn from his death? Another one, 
okay? So that's 127 um, views right there. We've got the cutting of the hand of Saudi Prince, okay? So we've got so many different um, videos that Christian Prince puts out weekly, okay? Weekly, he puts out very diverse um, shows. So please, I would love for you guys, if you have the opportunity to, open up a new tab, all right? And go there, subscribe, and make sure, uh, you know, you say hello from, you know, the Titans TV family, if you could do that for me, please, all right? Please. So again, um, let me get it started. Let me get it started. I'm going to actually ring Christian Prince right now, all right? And I know we've got a few corners uh, uh, family would love to actually get involved as well. Um, give me a little while. Give me a little while, okay? we got different people trying. Give me a little while. I'm going to get Christian Prince on right now. And, um, you know, it's going to get heated up. It's going to get heated up. If I can get Gabs or uh, Gabs, if you can come on real quickly. And um, and Megatron, if you would like to come on real quickly as well. Yes, bro, and, what's happening? Um, whilst I actually get Christian Prince on. Go ahead. Peace, bro. What's happening? Um, what, what did you want us to do exactly? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just want you guys to filibuster real quickly. Um, let me know how you are feeling about Christian Prince actually coming onto the platform. You know, what type of information you're looking forward to hearing. If you've got any questions for Christian Prince as well. Uh, come yeah. On. Let's get it. Okay. Um, now, me personally, I'm, um, I'm actually... Uh, I'm actually excited on, because uh, you know, I remember the first time videos. you mentioned about a brother to me. And you know, the brother, the brother's brought up some, some good points. You know what I mean? So, to me personally, it'll be it'll be good to see how it'll be a good it'll be good to see how you know how we how we, most of his knowledge and, and you know the information that he has. And what I would love to see is you know some of some of our Muslim brothers in the community and stuff to come on, you know Muslim brother, on and you know have a nice discussion and dialogue with them and uh, see where it goes. So, me personally, I'm just. I'm just pumped, no? Waiting to see, waiting to see when all. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh Megatron, what do you say? All right. Can go I ahead. just say I was so, I couldn't focus in college all day today because I was thinking about this debate. Christian Prince is the one Christian that puts the fear of Jesus into the hearts of Muslims. Uh -huh. I challenge any Muslims to call him. If Zach and I was on Titans TV, I would be the first any one there debating him. Muslims do not be scared. Titans Go on TV, and would be the first see what happens. All right. So we're going to get Christian Prince on right now. Right now. Come on. All right. All right. So so we're we're going to get Christian place. Prince on right so, now. Right now, without waiting to come on, I'm sure his audience again, members are pumped on uh, by to see what's going to take place. Okay, but so, I can't. Uh, without much further ado, I apologize so, let me get again, Christian Prince on right now on my guys. screen. So, um, okay, but Christian I can get his voice uh, being heard. And love. So but let me get Christian Prince on right now for you guys. So, Christian Prince. Christian Prince, can you hear me? Yes, I have found some reason double sound. Let me see why. Hold on, please. All right, let's see here. All right, do you hear me, my friend? Yep, I hear you. All right, thank you very much, and thank you for having me, and thanks for all those people who they are waiting to uh, uh, to have me in your program. I am honored to meet the brothers and uh, people who I never met before. For sure, I don't mean you, I mean all the others. And uh, uh, actually, even you, I never met you in person, but obviously it is it is a, it is an honor to be with the, with the good ones. Uh, you know, uh, our challenge today is not really a challenge. Let us say it is a challenge of knowledge of those who claim knowledge. It's a challenge of uh, of claiming things, and yet they cannot prove it. It's a challenge that why we lie to ourselves and we repeat a lie and we believe in the lie. It's a challenge why a human being, he cannot stand in the front of the mirror and look at his face and see how funny he is when he lies. So today is a, good, a great examine for the truth. You see, uh, you do not tell me what is a topic and don't I don't care because if a person who is confident about what he believe in and what he is talking about, he will be happy and willing anytime, anywhere to take a challenge. So the Muslims, they don't do that. The Muslims, they are people who pick up a topic two months in advance and then they go in the internet and they print 200 paper, papers and then they start throwing questions at you and the second you answer them and you 
point a question to, to them about what they said they run away from answering so I hope that today we will have some Muslims who they are willing to call and I saw your previous video saying that you ask many uh, you ask many Muslims to come and debate me and for some reason none of them show up or no none of them he said he there and you mentioned Dawa. I don't know the, the names I don't know if you can mention ag again you said Adnan Rashid all the names who they are shiny names in England but yet not even one of them he there to be here the question is why that's right that's right why not why not um you know what i'm gonna say this family members okay i know you guys are trying to phone my phone okay to get involved with christian prince tonight unfortunately i'm using my phone to actually um conduct this interview with christian prince okay so i'm apologizing you can't actually phone my phone i'm gonna try i'm gonna try a to find a way around it, okay, for those of you guys who don't have Google Hangouts. So just bear with me for a little while and I'll see what I can do for you, okay? Now, um, you know, there's a few people that are still emailing me right now. So I'm actually going to try my very best to get you guys on. Just bear with me, okay? Bear with me. So first of all, before we actually start this off, all right, you know, we've got over 314 people. We got over 300 people on uh, Christian Prince's channel as well, tuned in right now. And I'm asking for both audiences, okay, to hit the like button, hit the like button like crazy, please, okay? Hit the like button like crazy and let everybody know that we're live right now. Times TV, Christian Prince, we're about to go in. We're gonna get some Muslims onto the panel. Trust me, there's been emails just flooding in that they all want a piece of Christian Prince, hmm, supposedly. Let's just see how true that is. This is gonna get real interesting, family. So again, please hit the like button. And if you have the opportunity to share it like crazy with your friends, with your families, with your masjid as well, okay? You can get your imam or your astad or your mauvli, mauvli or whatever the case is to come on, let's get it. All you have to do is email me at kalam at live.co.uk, all right? Kalam at live.co.uk. Now, um, whilst that's happening, I'm actually going to I'm going to email you guys uh, the link. And also, I need to ask Christian Prince uh, a few questions. All right. Because we need to get to know the mind of Christian Prince. I want to know, you know, how long has Christian Prince been been Christian Prince? How long has he been going at it? How long has he been diving into the Islamic scriptures and trying to raise uh, his brothers and sisters in humanity, um, you know, into or away from uh, you know Islam and into Christianity. So I want to I want to delve into that real quickly. Um, so I'm going to ask Christian Prince some questions whilst we are getting other people to come onto the panel. So Christian Prince, all right. My first question to you is this: How long, okay, have you been a Christian, and what was it that uh, drew you away from Islam? Uh, first of all, I'm not an ex-Muslim. However, according to Muhammad, every one of us is born as a Muslim. And because of that statement, so you can say that you and me, and there's more than five or six billions, are ex-Muslims already. This is how funny Islam is. Now, how long I am a Christian? And first, I'm born of a Christian family. But I am born with a Christ. You know, uh, let us say every day I'm born with him more, getting more closer. I am a sinner man. I don't claim to be a priest or a bishop. I'm like everybody. And I ask God for forgiveness for my sin. And this is what we Christians believe in, that we are born with a Christ in every day in our life. And about Islam, since I was a child, you know, Muslims, they challenge us as uh, Arab Christians uh, about uh, our belief. Like they say the Bible is corrupt, uh, Jesus did not die, Christianity is stupid, you know, you name it. So, and I look around me and I could not find really people who they can um, answer the Muslims because Islam is you know is a violent religion and nobody want to dare even to be involved in answering not because they cannot answer there's many people they are educated but very few they let us say dare to get involved in this topic so me myself I decided to study Islamic law and I finished my degree in Islamic law and I'm qualified to work as a judge in an Islamic Sharia court uh, but this is not how I get my knowledge because in Islamic schools, they teach you really nothing. I mean, they praise Muhammad, they praise Allah. Uh, everything is perfect. It's a perfect image of a God. His name is Muhammad. And if a prophet, his name is Allah because the image is totally what the opposite from what the Muslim they say. 
the Muslim they say that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet but if you think carefully about what Islam is about you will notice right away that the God is Muhammad and Allah is not even a prophet he is just like a name used and abused for the sake of the glory and the benefit of this man his name is Muhammad so I study hard and I spend long long and many years of my life and I have many books if you go to amazon.com you can search for my books just type Christian Prince and you will find many list of my books and actually soon by maybe the coming week uh, we will have in few days from now we will have my book it's called six and Allah about the sexual uh, teaching of Islam is going to be published very soon so my mission is long and my trip is long and this is how you build your knowledge you know nothing happened nobody is born with his knowledge very true very true okay so wait you know what i never knew this okay so this is news to me i'm learning every single day about christian prince okay so family 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 what i'm going to say is this a lot of you guys have seen your messages via facebook i've seen your messages via the email section right and I've sent you guys the links, all right? So all I'm saying is I'm waiting for you guys to come on. We've got somebody from Yemen, all right, saying that they're looking to come on in a few minutes to debate Christian Prince, all right? We've got a Sufi saying that he's ready to come on also and debate Christian Prince, right? So I'm just simply waiting for you guys to finally turn up and attend, all right? There's no excuses. There's no excuses right now. You asked for the link. I've provided you guys with the link. So let's see what's going to happen. So, um, family members, give me a second, okay? I'm only going to accept, because I see a few of you guys are trying to come in, and I'm only going to accept uh, messages, or sorry, uh, phone calls, or, uh, you know, sending out links to people who are actually Muslims. Right now, Muslims are the priority, okay? Muslims are the priority. So just bear with me. Um, as soon as we get all the Muslims on, then I can add additional people, additional Christians or atheists who would like to actually dialogue with Christian Prince. So just bear with me, all right? Um, so right now, if you've got Bob as well, Bob the Builder, okay? Um, I've seen you as well. Please, can you just um, inbox me? Uh, send me a message, okay? Um, send me a message for any questions that you have for Christian Prince as well. Because unfortunately, I can't get the number. I can't get a number up and running in time. All right, so please just send me a message. All right, um, let's continue with the conversation with Christian Prince. Is everybody ready? I just want to check with the audience, check in with the audience. Is everybody ready? How is everybody feeling? Is everybody pumped up? Let me know, family. Is everybody pumped up? All right. We pumped. We pumped. We pumped, baby. All right. So I've actually got a question. I've got a question from Megatron, okay? And Megatron asks, um, you know, Actually, no, let me do one better than that. Megatron, if I can get you to come on and actually ask Christian Prince a question, please. Christian Prince, can you please talk about Muhammad's experiences and submission to the devil himself, please? Yeah, one of the things, one of the uh, like uh, strange things about Islam that the Muslims, they say that Muhammad is supposedly, or the whole idea of Islam is against the devil but if you go in details in the Quran and in the Hadith, you will find that the devil is a good Muslim believer, and he was a person who been like let us say guided by Allah to be the enemy of the prophets. So Allah He says in the Quran that He is the one who uh, 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 He is the one who made for every prophet a devil as an enemy for him. However, Muhammad in the Quran in one of his uh, uh, weird teaching he said that uh, the devil came to him and uh, he Muhammad was able to convert him to Islam and because of that this devil he command Muhammad not but to do good which mean Muhammad he claimed that he received a command from the devil and based on this command Muhammad described it as a good command. Now, how in the world he is a devil, but yet he gave a good command? And how in the world that Muhammad is a prophet of God, but yet he received a command from the devil? Because remember, when the, when when somebody says, "I receive command from someone," that's mean I am his servant. And as long as Muhammad he acknowledged that the one he is receiving command from is the devil himself. And he, he claimed that this devil 
he command him not anything bad but to do good that's mean the Muslims they have to believe that the devil is a good person and because of that then we need to ask more questions was Muhammad receiving command from his God all of it or he was receiving some commands from the devil and some commands from the Satan now if there is, if there is any Muslim he uh, he you know he don't believe in what I'm saying uh, I am willing to post uh, or to show even in my screen the hadith which is located in the book of uh, Sahih Muslim hadith number 2814 Muhammad he said and I'm, I'm not translating I'm reading what the Muslims you know wrote in their in their website there is not I just stop yes can I just stop you real quickly okay because you know what we love doing here on Titans TV and as you know what you are translated with this because you go into profound detail not only with the English but into the Arabic itself not only into the Arabic you actually translate into various different languages such as the German and various other languages as well so what I would love for you to do is just show it on your screen so everybody can see it all right so there's no wiggle room there's no excuses they can all see it i can actually either um do you want to share it on your screen uh because i know you posted it into your chat section but would you like to share it on your screen so your audience can benefit as no well no problem no problem let me let me get the hadith and share it in your and the screen here um so uh we can go from there let us see yeah, because as you know, I, I, I always show everything because I don't want the Muslim to say he is making things up and this is not a true. Uh, here, this is the hadith in front of us. If you read with me, and this is the Muslim translation, by the way, I have nothing to do with it. I'm not a translator for this uh, hadith. I'm just reading for you. This is sunnah.com website. Muhammad said, there is none amongst you with whom is not and attach from amongst the jinn between two brackets the devil that they the companions they said Allah messenger would you too thereupon he said yes but Allah's Allah helps me against him and I am safe from his hand and he does not command me but for good so this is Sahih Muslim and this is the hate in the front of your eyes the number the translation the reference everything so Muhammad here he admit with no question that he is receiving command from the devil now where we can find the good command of the devil in the hadith and in the Quran and in the life of Muhammad because as long Muhammad acknowledged he received command from the devil then we need to ask what are they those commands and as long we know that Muslims they copy whatever Muhammad he said even about going to the bathroom which of those commands is coming from the devil which is called quote unquote good command and which of the command is coming from Allah is the command the good command of the devil is in the Quran is it only in the life of Muhammad is it in the hadith it is about how to pray is it about how to fast what the shaitan was given Muhammad as a good command if there is any Muslim willing to answer I would be happy to, to hear Ooh. So again, we're waiting for um, my Muslim brothers and sisters to come onto the platform, right? We're still waiting. The links have been sent out, all right? And you know I'm being a bit cheeky when I say, you know, you guys are scared and all those things there. I'm actually causing some hype and drama. So don't take it to heart like I really, really uh, I try to get at you guys that way. But at the same time, though, hold on. You know, I have to do my face right now. But at the same time, though, hmm, it's quite interesting. The show has been running for, let's just double check. Let's just see how long the show has been running for. The show has been running for over 25 minutes now. We posted out the links, um, you know, about 45 to about 45 to 35 minutes now. You know, a good 15, 20 minutes before Christian Prince has come onto the show. All right. Before we even started the show, we posted you guys out the links first. Before I've even posted the link to um, Christian Prince himself, I posted the link to you guys. Why? Because you guys are priority right now. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that to belittle, um, you know, my beloved brother Christian Prince. No, I'm saying it is because we are doing this. Okay, me, Christian Prince, everybody else who's involved with these types of movements are doing this because we have love for you guys. If we see somebody that's um, you know drowning in ignorance, all right. We see someone that's drowning in ignorance. The only thing that's in our hearts to do is to literally put down our hands 
and to try to get you up out of drumming, drowning from ignorance. Wow, what's going on? So, already, um, we've started to see it. We've got trolls coming in. There's trolls that's now uh, inboxing and trying to get the links and trying to come in. So we can already see that they're just, you know, they're trying to disturb the show already. We've seen it in the past that they've come on and tried to disturb the show. And it's always to do with Islamic related content that they want to disrupt. What is it? What is it that you're so scared of? All right. And I'm going to say this to you guys. Okay. Because you trolls that are coming on, okay. You're making your religion look so bad. You're making your religion look so desperate that the only thing that you can do is attack other people. The only thing you could do is troll. The only thing you could do is hijack, okay, something like this, which is to be educate, educational and informative. Is this how weak your religion is? Let me know. Because so far you're proving it to be such. And I don't believe so. You know, I've got high respect for your religion, but it's you're proving to have a very weak religion right now. All we need you guys to do is to come on and educate yourselves and educate our own audience. If you believe that Christian Prince is wrong, guess what? Tell him, show him, cite your evidences where you believe he is wrong. And we can all benefit and learn from a dialogue that you guys can take and have. So let's, let's continue um, with my brother Christian Prince. And again, we're still waiting for you guys to come on. Please, no more trolls, because I'm sure we have 400 people over here on uh, Titans TV. We have over 330 people on Christian Prince's channel, and we all are here to benefit and we're all here to learn. Please do not, do not, do not disrupt our ability and chance to learn from a mighty Titan such as Christian Prince. Anyways, let's continue. Um, so Christian Prince, uh, I don't know if you wanted to continue where you've left off, well, you know, see like, you know, the idea of shaitan commanding a prophet of God, and he is the one who mentioned that. And then and then we hear in the in the Quran, as an example, if we go in the Quran, uh, the God of Muhammad, suppose he's talking, not him, not Muhammad. This is the God, supposedly Allah, saying, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيِّنَا أَدُوًا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنسِ وَالْجِنِ If we go to the translation, as you see, I'm using Muslim translation, chapter 6, verse 112. It says, Allah saying, supposedly, Likewise, did we make for every messenger an enemy, evil ones among men and jinns? Now, here in, in the translation, it says evil ones, but the fact in Arabic it says shayateen. So Allah is saying that He made, He is the one who made the enemies for every prophet, the shayateen. So the shayateen are serving Allah by being enemies. If you read with me here translation, as you see Muslims in front of your eyes, as and thus did we make for every prophet an enemy. Who is the one who made an enemy for every prophet? It is Allah. And what he is making as an enemy, the shay shaitans. So here we ask ourselves, is a shaitan is a good guy or a bad guy? Based on this verse, shaitan is just a good Muslim doing his job. He is hired by Allah to be an enemy to you. Who is the one who hired the shaitan to be an enemy? It is Allah. Do shaitan have a choice to refuse the job? No. And as we know, all of us, that Islam believe in something called destiny, which means your fate is made, written. Uh, uh, in the hadith, Muhammad, he speak about a debate between Moses and uh, uh, Adam. And Moses, he said to Adam, uh, you know, because of you, we are out, out of heaven. Uh, and because of you, we lost uh, uh, salvation. I mean, like we lost the heaven, we lost the, the Jannah. Uh, so uh, Adam, he said to, uh, to Muhammad, uh, are you going to blame me for something written in my faith by Allah 50 years or 40 years, depending on the hadith, before Allah, he created me? So here you will see that even the sin of Adam was not a choice of Adam. And Muhammad here, the most important, Muhammad, he agree about this, 
about the statement of Adam against the statement of Moses that this is was the fate of Adam and we cannot blame Adam for such a sin if you read with me in the screen I'm showing it and this is the hadith which is you Muslim translated you Muslims have it in your in your books and this is Sahih al-Bukhari in the hadith it says the Prophet and Adam the Prophet uh, the Prophet Allah said Adam and Moses agreed uh, argued each with each other uh, Moses said uh, to Adam Adam you are the one you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise then Adam said to him oh Moses Allah favored you uh, with his talk which means he spoke to you indirectly and he wrote the Torah for you with his own hands do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation so Adam and Muhammad now is the one continuing talking so Adam Confuted Moses, which means he refuted uh, Moses. Adam and Muhammad repeating that Adam refuted Moses. Adam refuted Moses. Adam refuted Moses three times to confirm that Adam is right and Moses was wrong. And based on this, that the sin of Adam itself is the sin of Allah, because if Allah is the one who wrote for Adam before He created him, and Adam is saying, "You cannot blame me." I mean, how you can blame me? For what Allah he himself he made how you can do that you cannot so Allah is the one who is the one creating sin Allah is the one who is designing the sin and yet he want to punish Adam for the sin which he did not do it was the sin of Allah created by Allah ordered by Allah and based on that if we go back to the chapter in the Quran chapter 6 verse 112 where it says that Allah he made for every prophet a shaitan as an enemy here we understand that the shaitan who misguided Adam is the same shaitan who misguided the prophet. Why? Because this is was the plan of Allah, and those people they fail because it Allah planned for them to fail. So here we need to ask ourselves a question: Why shaitan is a bad guy then? If he command Muhammad, good command. If he is a Muslim, if he obey Allah, and if this is the plan of Allah, why Adam was kicked out of heaven? If this is the sin of Allah and he have no choice but to do it and it's written for him 40 years before he created him why shaitan is not considered God for Muslims or let us say at least he is a holy he is a saint when he is obeying Allah in total obedience this is what the Quran says and this is what the hadith says and this is what their prophet said not me how they can answer that Ooh -wee. all right all right um you know i think it's getting a bit hot in here i know and i know it definitely is getting hot in here because we have a lot of trolls that's coming through so again i'm going to call out to my muslim brothers okay to see if you guys are able to come onto the platform all right and um you know speak up speak up if you can if you can't speak up okay i'm gonna allow you the opportunity to um grill christian prince okay i'm gonna allow you okay to be on the charge all right i'm going to make sure that you're not on the back foot and i'm going to say this over here at talk with the titans we have three rules rule number one is to keep your mics muted at all times rule number two is to respect the cipher of our titans so therefore if our titans is speaking please we don't expect you to over talk them all right and our third rule is this okay this is a family friendly show We've got children watching these shows. We've got aunties and uncles and everybody tuned into these shows. So all we're saying is please respect yourselves, respect our audience, okay, members, and respect our panel members. So what that means is please, no profanity and no ad hominem attacks, okay? We would love to keep it nice and friendly. So I believe we do have a Muslim on the panel. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Liberal, are you there? The liberal, are you there? Okay, liberal, let me know if you're able to unmute your mic and speak, all right? Again, so he's not a Muslim, he's not a Muslim. Okay, so the liberal is not a Muslim. So again, we're still waiting for, um, you know, all the Muslims that have asked to come onto the platform, all right? And regardless of you guys try to uh, troll or do whatever the case is, 
it don't matter because we've still got a backup channel with Christian Prince and we're still going to be on there on Christian Prince's channel and we're still going to be pushing forward. That's wonderful and great information. The more you guys try to troll, the more my audience members will now migrate over onto Christian Prince's channel. All right. And all the Muslims will be going on to Christian Prince's channel and they're going to be getting that good information and knowledge. So no matter what you do, OK, it's always a win win situation for us. So let's get it in. Um, do you know what? Yeah. Uh, you know, there are a few more questions that, you know, is. Oh, let's see. Salman Mohammed, are you a troll or are you a Muslim that would like to ask a question? We're waiting for you. Salman Mohammed. Okay, I take it that you are a troll. Yeah, so again, <laughs> Christian Prince, I apologize. This yeah, is what no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm used to them. I'm not uh, I'm not in you in this, my friend. Uh, I, I am doing this long before even you you uh, you even speak about Islam once. Uh, they cannot answer yeah. us. They cannot debate us, and they are very funny. And uh, you know, the the what is making more funny? Maybe the one is calling you right now is the genie of Muhammad who converted to Islam. Maybe it's not a Muslim because remember, the the the, the genie, the shaitan who became a Muslim is a good Muslim. And maybe we can receive a phone call from him so he can debate me. Maybe we can have a, finally a debate between a Muslim shaitan and Christian prince. That would be amazing. Do you know what? Yeah, um, I wanted. To, I was wanting to know this. Can the devil have a uh, children? Can the shaitans have children? And you know, are there walking, talking shaitans out there today? Well, Please let us know. Yes. Well, accor according to Muhammad, and according to the Muslims, uh, uh, shaitan he have uh, children, and shaitan he uh, lay eggs. Uh, and this is one of the funny. You see, uh, Islam is a kind of a collection of fairy tale stories. And Muslims, they copy paste, and nobody asks himself where this is coming from, uh, or all of what they know. Uh, you know, the Prophet said, the Quran said, and as long it it says that, so then we have to obey and we have to follow blindly. Now, what the problem is, as long we mention the story of the Shaitan in the Quran, which is he is the enemy of every Prophet, but Allah is the one who made him an enemy. Then we will find Allah in the Quran saying. Are you going to follow Iblis? Iblis supposedly is the father of the devil. Are you going to, to follow Iblis and his offspring and his offspring? So the Quran confirmed that Shaitan he have offspring. But here we have a problem. According to Muslim theology, there is only one genie was kicked out of heaven because Shaitan is a genie. This, some people do not know. They, they think uh, some people they mix between Christianity and Islam. In Christianity, Satan was an angel. In Islam, he is not. He is a genie, and this is what confirmed in front of us in the verse I'm showing you on the screen, chapter 18, verse number 50. This verse saying clearly that Shaitan, uh, uh, Allah, He ordered all the angels to bow down to Adam, which is very fishy and very funny, because why God He order anyone to bow down to anyone except God, the Muslim, they say to us that we don't commit shirk and we are the only one who bow, we bow only to Allah. But the fact it is Allah, the first one who asks people to bow to someone else beside him. So here we see that Allah said, behold, we said to the angels, bow down to Adam. They bowed, except Iblis. And he was one of the jinn. Then, and he broke the command of his Lord. So he broke the command of his Lord, but the fact this is not true because Allah He said all angels bow down except the, the genie, but the genie is not an angel. So this is a very stupid statement in the Quran. Imagine I say all dogs get out, and then I get angry from the cat. I said, Dogs, angels are not genie, and genie are not angels, they are two different kind. So Allah ordered the angels. Why he's upset from the from the genie? That because it's a stupid mistake in the Quran. And then he says, continue. Are you going to uh, uh, take him and his offspring as a protectors rather than me? So the Quran confirmed in this chapter that Shaitan have an offspring. 
and because Allah he kicked only one genie out of heaven the Muslim now they have a struggle with this how shaitan he have offspring if he have no partner he have no wife so they come with the method saying that according to what they learn from their scholars scholars to scholar to prophet that shaitan he have a penis in the right leg of his thigh and he have a vagina in the left side of his thigh in the other side and then when he want to have sex with himself he shake this with that and then this is how he uh, have a children's and actually uh, uh, every day he lay 10 eggs and from every eggs every egg he lay down 70 shaitan and 70 female shaitana shaitana in arabic mean female uh, shaitan so this is this is the madness of this religion teaching us that there is a creature who is a somehow transgender i don't know what you call it but he can have sex with himself and he can make himself lay eggs and he can have children's just by sleeping with himself in the same time those children's are male and female which is funny because if the father is male and female in the same time why the children's the babies are male and female so obviously uh, uh it's a it's a fairy tale stories and muslim they love those fairy tale stories and the quran and the hadith and the interpretation is full of it and the more you read the more you find how crazy this religion is and you know what if there is any muslim he want to say to me that what you said is a lie i challenge you call us right now say christian prince i challenge you to show us in the screen the reference of shaitan have a penis i challenge you to show us where he have a vagina i challenge you to show me where he can have the eggs why you don't muslims you call and challenge us so everybody either will laugh at me or will laugh at the teaching of muhammad Ooh wee jeez my brother is going in right now so again family again i'm just i'm here okay i'm trying to go as easy as possible with you guys so christian prince has just been laying down the pipes all right and so far i'm not getting anything in terms of a response back from you guys you guys have emailed me from earlier on this afternoon right earlier on this afternoon i'm still waiting for you guys to jump onto the panel and it seems though you guys are not going to jump onto the panel so um, and we've got over what 400 people tuned in right now. So family members, okay, we've got over 400 people tuned in right now. Can I get you guys who haven't already hit the like button to so please hit the like button? Show your support for uh, Christian Prince by hitting the like button. Okay, show your support for Christian Prince by hitting the like button as well as showing your support. Um, as well as showing your support for Titans TV by hitting the like button. Okay, please do that. Show your support by hitting the like button. For Titans TV, show your like as and support by hitting the like button again for Christian Prince. Awesome, awesome. Again, you know, I'm gonna stop talking about them because it's just getting real redundant right now. So, if it's possible, family, if it's possible, I'm actually gonna go over to my messages. All right, um, I'm gonna go over to my messages, and I've got Bob the Builder. He actually asks a question, right? And I'm gonna get the question out to you guys. Just bear with me for one hot second. Okay, he asked the question uh, and it's concerning textual variants inside of the Quran. All right, for those of you guys who don't know Bob the Builder, please go check out Soko Films. Soko Films, he's a Christian um, apologetics at, at uh, Speaker's Corner. He is, you know, if not, I think personally he's taken over the spot from Jay Smith. He is literally taking over Jay Smith's spot at Speaker's Corner. So if you want to learn more about Christian apologetics, Please tune in to Soko Films and watch him debate live with Muslims. All right. Okay. So his question is this. Hath's Quran, uh, Surah 10, verse 2, says the word magician. La sahirun. Ibn Jamaz's version says, la sihrun, magic. One is speaking of Muhammad, the other, the Quran. But these are Qurans clearly different could he com comment on this and other textual variants between Qurans? What, what, so I'm not too sure what chapter, my friend? What, what chapter you said? Chapter 2? Chapter 10, uh, uh, chapter verse 10. 2. Uh, verse 10, yeah, all right. right. Okay, verse 2, all right. All right. Uh, uh, and the question again, repeat, please. I, your voice was cutting. So the question is, um, could you, but these, could, he, could you comment on the textual variants inside of the Quran? 
Um, but in particular to this verse, he's saying that uh, the textual variants is saying that mag magicians is involved with uh, the Hafs Quran and magic is involved with the Jama's version. Well, so I don't know if you... You know, we don't want to make it complicated because there is, you know, the text in the front of us is speaking about that uh, uh, when when Allah, he, he sent his prophet, people, they say, he is a magician. And here we have a funny uh, statement. Uh, why the people, they are saying that he is a magician and how he can be a magician when Muhammad, he did not do any wonder. But the, the, the fact here, what people do not notice, that the, the Arab in the Middle East, when they say Sahir, it doesn't mean that he is a magician practicing magic. It can mean that he is a person under the influence of magic, which means himself he is possessed in other way in the Christian, let us say, uh, uh, dictionary. So we say someone is possessed by the devil or by demon. So here they are saying that Muhammad, is a person who is under some kind of magic and actually if you go in the Quran you will see that the, the magic itself is not something bad in Islam it is Allah himself who opened a training school for magic so the Quran speak as an example that there is a there is two angels their name is Harut and Marut if we go to chapter 2 verse 1 or 2 Harut and Marut we can go there uh, and those two angels, Allah, He sent them in the tower of the Babylon. And those two angels, they are the one who taught the shayateen, the shaitan, who taught the people how to practice magic. So the source of magic, according to Islam, is coming from Allah. And Allah is the first one who opened a training center to teach magic by sending two angels down using the Babylon tower and this is coming from an old legends where people they believe that God he sent two angels who they are specialized in teaching magic and he sent them in the Babylon tower and one of them is Harut and the other one is Marut and this is coming from the east of uh, the north of Iraq uh, uh, territory legions where people they believe in this madness and Muhammad he adopted and then you will see here it says that Allah when he sent those two angels he taught those angels to make a disclaimer, which means if before you join the school and you wanna you wanna join Hori uh, training, he you have to sign a disclaimer. A disclaimer. What is the disclaimer? It says, "We are only for a trial, so don't do blasphemy." They learned uh, from them uh, the means to sow discord between the man and his wife. So Allah He sent two angels to teach magic in order to make the wife and the husband fight. If we go back to the verse you quote for me. Which is accusing Muhammad to be a magician uh, 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 under the influence of magic. Here we find Allah He reject that, but yet He is the one who created the magic and supposedly the magic is a trial from Allah. And then if we connect that to the verse we just quote before, that Allah He is the one who appoint Shaitan against the Prophet. If you remember, He is the one who appoint the Shaitan. Or shayateen against the prophet so if shaitan learn magic and magic is coming from allah and allah appoint shaitan to be against the prophet and the prophet was accused that he is controlled by the black magic or by a magician and this is all is the plan of allah so why the muslims and why the quran even here is is uh, is declining such an accusation against muhammad actually if we go in the hadith you will find that muhammad he come you know he he, he agreed that he was under the influence of a black magic and he himself he started imagining things never happened and this is exactly what the people said to him they were not saying to him that he is a magician they were saying to him you are under the control of the devil and you are a person who is under the black magic so if we go here um let me show you the, the, the hadith many there's many of them but one of the most funny ones i find it the prophet co continued for such and such period of time imagining that he has slept uh, had sexual relationship which means with the wives but in fact he did not so the prophet he was imagining why he was imagining because the story continue and the two angels who they are in charge of such kind of illness which is 
the magic two angels they came to Muhammad room and as you see here Muhammad described them as two men they are all come to me two men one of them sit near my feet and the other near my head the one near my feet ask the one near my head pointing at me what's wrong with this man so now we understand that there is something wrong with this man this is not good this is not good something wrong the other one replied it, 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 he is under the effect of a magic and this is what the most the, the people they were saying to Muhammad you are just a person who is possessed you are a person who is under a magic and we know your story even your wife told us about it even you you say that so as you see Muhammad himself confirmed that there is two angels they come to him and they are coming as a rescue from Allah to save him from the problem he is under the effect of a magic but magic is satanic but the satan is taught by Allah by who by the two angels Harut and Marut and they are obviously the same two guys who came to Muhammad to save him from the issue because they are the master of magic and they are the one who taught magic as we saw in the previous surah so they are saying to him you are a possessed man you are a person under the influence of the devil how we can believe thee you must be a false man Ooh, now that's powerful that is absolutely powerful and again we we okay i'm actually giving up any form of hope that um you know some muslims will actually come on to the panel and discuss so what i'm asking you guys to do right now okay um is to send in your questions send in your questions via email unfortunately we've got too many people um you know i'm not complaining that we've got so many people um you know viewing titans tv and um you know the arabian prophet christian princes channel i'm not complaining but the only way i'm able to um you know vet these questions um, and ask these questions is if you guys email me over your questions. And so far, we actually do have a, uh, a Muslim that has, um, you know, emailed us over a question uh, based upon the hadiths uh, that my brother Christian Prince uh, put up. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Give me one hot second, family. I'm just going to pull up the question right now or the comment that was made. So this is made by somebody by the name of uh, bin Hamud, okay, Bin Hamud or Bin Hamud says this. Um, Hi, your speaker made reference to two hadiths at the start, but misconstrued its meaning. Sahih Muslim referring to the jinn. The Muslim understanding is that the jinn, much like humans, are of tribes and nations. They are not all necessarily evil. Some are even Muslim, and some are righteous and all are subject to divine law and judgment. Allah commanded the jinn to serve Suleiman, Solomon, for example. The Hadith did not make reference to Iblis, the fallen devil. It mentioned the jinn in the context as a whole. Number two point, or second point, mm -hmm. the, speaker then, the speaker then makes uh, references to a second Hadith in which he mentions that Allah created the jinn to distract the prophets and to attempt to deviate them from righteousness. Muslims believe that there is no soul created by God so perfect as not to commit sin. The prophets too are not exempt from sin. This is a fact known to all Muslims. I'm already gonna say to you this, uh-oh, uh-oh, I already seen where um, you've just opened up yourself for an onslaught from Christian Prince. So, um, Christian Prince, this is the first person, the only Muslim that was brave enough to actually, um, you know, rebuttal anything that you had to say. And uh, they've done it via email. Right. So, I don't know if you heard everything. Could you please respond to them? Yeah. First of all, he claimed that this is a genie. This is not a shaitan. Obviously, he did not know what his prophet said because Muslims are copy-paste people. They are limited to two lines, and but they don't read the rest. The hate in front of us, it says, I look for the message of Allah. And put my hand on his hair. He said, Your shaitan has come to you. I said, Don't you have a shaitan? Don't have you uh, 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 don't you have a shaitan? He said, Yes, but Allah he helped me against him and he submitted. This is the same shaitan. So you are saying to me, This is a genie, this is not a shaitan. It is a shaitan, my friend. Do you see the word? 
it's even written in English. So it's a very funny argument with my respect to the gentleman who is trying to defend what he said. So it is confirmed that this is a shaitan, and actually the same hadith repeated in many places that this is a shaitan who Muhammad is commanding him, but he claimed that he is surrender to Allah. I mean, a Muslim shaitan, that is the most funny statement. What is the second part you said about, about the, the verse in the Quran, right? That Allah, he made the, uh, the shaitan enemy to every uh, prophet, and the prophet, yes. uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, the prophet, he is uh, uh, he is just a normal human being. Yeah. Before you do that, please, because um, unfortunately, um, you know, all of the uh, hadith is not showing on your screen. So if I can get you just to uh, send the hadith over uh, into okay. your chat section, I can bring it up on my okay. screen. I will post it in my. And by the way, this is Sahih, as you see. So they will not say. I will post it in my chat. I advise people they. Uh, because I don't want to open too many chat and that will slow my internet uh, Maybe my people there they can uh, they can pause the chat for you, please. So this is Sahih Muslim uh, so, Sorry, uh, Sahih Hadith Sunan and Nisa Hadith number 3960 now about the Prophet that he is uh, you know uh, 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 He is just a human being and he is the same as everybody and etc. Well, this is will be contradict or contradiction for the Quran because obviously this person he did not read his book if we go in the Quran we will find the Quran saying the following that Muhammad is a promised by Allah that he is a protected in the mean of religion in the mean of what in the mean of religion which means nobody can fool him nobody can command him nobody can control him no one and if if that is not included, devil, I mean, who is going to be included? It says here, Ya ayyuha rasul balligh ma anzila ilayka min rabbika wa in lam tafal fama ballata risalatahu wallahu ya'asumuka min al-nas. Allah is protecting you from the people. And then we will find that Muhammad is a promise to that he is going to be protected from anyone, including even the genies. So if if the if the prophet if the prophet is just a human being then how how the quran says that he is a protected and he is the one he is preserved from any harm from anyone to do black magic on him because remember even the black magic the muslim they claim that muhammad he have it was done to him by a jew and this jew his name is well known his name is lubayd ibn asam actually the hadith we, we have in a, uh, uh, the one we we showed you about about uh, about the two angels even they mention the name of the person and they claim that even his daughters are involved of this story as you see here it says it was a guy his name Aisha she said his name the magician his name is Lubayd ibn al-Asam and he was a man from Bani Zuraiq and he is an ally of the Jews so he is a person a man a human being who made magic for the Prophet, but yet the Quran claim that the Prophet is protected from mankind and even protected from the genie. But yet we find that the genie, who is a shaitan in this case, because this guy he forgot that shaitan and genie is the same. Now he said something funny. He said, this is not Iblis. I mean, this is funny because who care? The shaitan is a shaitan. He is the first shaitan. He is the second shaitan. Who care? You're a prophet, he said, my shaitan. He became a Muslim. I'm not going to ask him if he meant Iblis, the first shaitan or the last one. What we care for, that he is a shaitan, and shaitan is a name of the devil. The devil, the first one, Iblis, is the one we spoke about him. He lay eggs, as we showed you. Actually, maybe this guy, I don't know why he did not mention it. We can go right now, and we can show in the screen from the official Islamic website of Saudi Arabia that shaitan, he had sex with himself. And he had sex with his vagina by entering this into that, which means his penis. And as you see here with me, I hope this Muslim is watching, and I hope he speaks Arabic. That will make it easier. They said, uh, a person he asked, uh, one of the companions, he said, do but, but about the Quran saying that shaitan, he have offspring. He said to him, uh, do shaitan have a wife? فقال, هل إبليس زوجة? فقال, إن ذلك عرس لم أشهده. Uh, he said, do shaitan have a wife? He said, you know what? This is a wedding I never attend. This guy is a comedian. Then he continued, he said, and it says, according to the scholars, 
and وقال مجاهد وقال مجاهد this is مجاهد not me إن إبليس this is the first شيطان إبليس is the father of all شيطان أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه فباض خمس بيضات إبليس he did if this he entered this with that فرجه بفرجه which means his penis with his vagina and he lay five eggs and this is the origin of his offspring so when this guy he says to me that this is not Iblis, this is Shaitan. He forgot that it's the same family, it's the same thing. Who care? I mean, Shaitan, Shaitan. If you're Muslims, you believe that every human being have a Shaitan, and Aisha, she have a Shaitan, and I have a Shaitan, and Muhammad have a Shaitan. This is not my business, it's your belief. But still, at the end of the day, he is a Shaitan, and he is a genie in the same time. Because obviously, this guy, he forgot that the Quran says that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, except shaitan or iblis and he was one of the jinn so this is the nature of the shaitan he is a genie he is from the kind of the genie but yet still he is a shaitan in the same time so you want to say to me he was a genie it's true he was a shaitan your prophet witness for that so he is a shaitan and he's a genie it's like you are saying to me that uh, uh you know uh, uh fidel castro is a human we know that but he's, he's he's from cuba in the same time so he is a human this is his kind but he is a still shaitan. That is what your prophet is teaching. So I find always that the Muslims, they have a very weird logic. If we continue reading here, this is by the way of Sir Al-Qurtubi, and this is the official government of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So people will not say I'm making things up. Let me let me zoom in, please. So you all of you, you can see where I am getting those reference from. This is not my maid. This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. Uh, Quran.ksu.education.sa Tafsir al qurtubi as you see. So here we, we, we find the story continue, or let us say this hilarious story, saying that in other statement, Shaitan, he had he had a penis. I hope the Muslims they can read with me. Uh, and it says that Allah He created for him in his right thigh, in his right leg, a penis. And he created in the left leg a vagina. So he if this by that. And every day he lay ten eggs. فَيَخْرُجُ لَهُ كُلَّ يَوْمَ عَشْرُ بَيْضَاتِ وَيَخْرُجُ مِنْ كُلِّ بَيْضَ سَبْعُونَ شَيْطَانًا وَشَيْطَانًا فَيَخْرُجْ فَهُوَ فَهُوَ يَخْرُجْ وَيَطِيرُ Let us translate. So he if this by that, which means he if himself, and then uh, ten, he lay down every day ten eggs. And from every egg we have seventy. Uh, 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 baby shaitan they are born of the eggs male and female and right away when he is coming out of the egg he fly this is a flying shaitan just take a note I hope I did answer you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god listen you know I, I so far I'm I'm, I'm if I'm a Muslim yeah I'm kind of scared to even ask Christian Prince a question right now you know because boy, I know you guys were not expecting a full um, <laughs> a full answer like that. That was crazy right there. So um, you know, let me just actually go back into the question. Let me go back into the question and find um, you know there, there's a certain part that I did want you to touch upon. Um, you know, and it's definitely relating to Christianity. It says here, the speaker then makes reference to a second hadith in which uh, mentions Allah created the jinn to distract the prophets and to attempt to deviate them from righteousness. Muslims believe that there is no soul created by God so perfect as to not commit, commit sin. I want to know, is that true? Do Muslims really believe that there is no soul created by God so perfect as not to commit sin? I wanted to know, is there any prophet that did not commit sin? Is there any prophet that is pure and holy? You want me to answer the, or, you are, or you are waiting for the Muslims? No, I'm asking that straight to you. All right. Because well, well, uh, well, the Quran says in chapter 19, verse number 19, that the Messiah is the Holy Son. So he is quoted as holy. In the same time, the Quran quote Muhammad as a person who is a sinner this is why uh, uh, the Quran mentioned that uh, may Allah forgive to Muhammad his past and his coming sin so Muhammad uh, uh, he's a sinner and Allah he gave him an open license for sin and actually the Muslim in order to cover Muhammad 
Uh, he said, well, Muhammad is just a human being like everybody. He commits sin. That is not the scenario. Muhammad, he commits sin like no one. As an example, name for me one a crime a human being can do and Muhammad did not. However, because he have a license from his God, and the Muslims, by the way, they say, do you remember that it's, uh, once upon the time there's a Catholic Pope, he made uh, the document, he signed a document for people to go to heaven to forgive their sin. This is very funny, and I could not even find that if this is true. But however, let us say for the sake of argument, this is was true. It is in the Quran. The first one who forgive the past and to come sin, it was Allah, and that was a privilege only for Muhammad. So what kind, and look here, the Muslims, they try to, to fabricate the translation. They say that Allah is forgiving the fault of the prophet, but the fact it says it clearly, sin. Read with me carefully. That Allah may forgive thee of the sin that which in past is, is, is past and that which is to come. Allah is giving an open license for the sinner prophet Muhammad, who is we as we showed you, he is commanded by the devil, by shaitan, who is under black magic, as he himself, Muhammad, he said, and he have a license to do whatever he want. Allah, he forgive the past and the coming to come. But look, look here with me, how funny is the statement of Allah. Allah saying that Allah may forgive thee the sin which is in the past and which to come. I challenge any Muslim to tell me how that is can be may. Is Muhammad saved or he's not? Because when we say may, it means maybe, it means possible, it means not sure. But the one who is talking is God, but yet he is not sure. Why this is happening? Because Muhammad is the one who fabricated the Quran. So Muhammad, he want to give himself a license. That, you know what? I am a prophet and I have a lot of sin. But don't worry. Be happy. Allah, he just gave me a verse delivered to me by UPS saying, don't worry, be happy. Your sin is forgiven. The one you did in the past and even the one you will do tomorrow. So don't worry about tomorrow's sin. Do as many as you do. And the funny, the Muslim, they say that the Christians believe that Christ, he died in the cross. So their sin is forgiven. Well, we Christians believe that if we don't follow Christ, our sin is not forgiven. So when we believe in Jesus that he died for us, does not mean we have a license for sin. Does not mean we have a document to say sin as much as you want. That is exist in Islam as you see, not in my Bible. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you believe and you say, Lord, Lord, you still you are a hypocrite, false Christian, for you are not following what he taught you to do. Muhammad here, you do not need to follow Allah. He is a past sinner. He is tomorrow sinner and he have a license to sin. And not only that, we will find that the privilege of sin given to Muhammad wide open. As an example, Muhammad, he made it a logical sin. As an example, if we go in the Quran, we find that Muhammad, he said that any woman, she want to give herself to the prophet so he can. I don't want to use the, the, the F word, but you know what I'm talking about. So he can do that to her. The Muslim, they say this is about about to marry her. Let us say this is about marriage. But name, can you name for me one woman, Muhammad, a woman she offered herself to him. She became a wife. We cannot find anyone. They offer for the, themselves for six. And Muhammad, even that, he made it as a privilege for himself alone. So if we go in the Quran, we will find in chapter 33, verse number 50, that Allah, he gave Muhammad a privilege that any believing woman, she can offer herself to the prophet so he can sleep with her. And this is only a privilege for thee only. Now, obviously, the God of Muhammad, he have no worry in the whole world except making more opportunity for Muhammad to sleep with more women. Remember, Muhammad, he have already 13 wives. He have a lot of six slaves. So why he need such a privilege as an addition? For he is Allah himself, and he all what he need to do, just have you fabricate a verse, and women, they will come, line up in the front of his door, say, take me, take me, baby. And Muhammad, he take advantage, not only that, if you go in the verse after that, 
because Muhammad he start receiving some ugly women with my respect to everybody I don't believe anyone is ugly, but I'm describing what happened here uh, uh, He start receiving women offering themselves, but he don't like how they look like so Muhammad in order to get out of this He said you can Take from them whatever you wish and you can delay whatever you wish so here Whatever he wish whatever you desire as you say which mean the women she offer herself the prophet if he desire will take her not necessarily then Muhammad after that because the line became so long and he cannot take it no more So he said Allah he sent me this verse says that you can differ whom you uh, uh, Though wilt of them and receive into thee whom the wilt which mean take it easy Everybody will have a ticket if 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 I accept you you will go to my bed if not I am busy sorry so all everything is in the Quran Muhammad he is using Allah as a way to take over women of people who they are around him and those naive people they are submitting themselves to Muhammad for sex and this is supposed to be a privilege and not only that if we go to the interpretation of this chapter we will find Ibn al-Arabi he said that if the Prophet the Prophet he have many privileges he counts 16 one of them if the Prophet eyes fall into a woman her husband have immediately to divorce her so the prophet can take her and yet this person he says to me well the prophet is just a normal human being like everybody who do sin i don't think this is normal i don't think somebody as an example when muhammad he go uh, and 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 he flirt with the wife of his own son and he said to her praise be to allah the one who made my heart flip for you i don't think this is normal I never heard of someone even go to his friend unless he is a very bad person we are talking about a man who claimed to be a prophet and he adopt a man and then he go to his wife when the husband is not home and then he flirt with the wife and he said to her my heart is beating for you and then the husband come back and the wife she tell the husband what the prophet he said with loud voice and purpose she said so she can hear it and then the man he went to the prophet he said prophet let me divorce my wife she hurt me let me divorce so the guy he's scared obviously his father he want her and he know that he's a criminal so he decided to give her up before it's too late he said muhammad he said keep your wife man keep your wife and allah he made a verse for muhammad saying why you are saying to the man keep your wife when you want her you hypocrite so muhammad he got the wife from her husband after flirting with her in her house now i want to ask you my friend uh, kalam if a friend of yours with my respect to your wife if you have one if you if you are married if a friend of yours come to your door a friend not your father because there's no way there's no way anyone will do that a friend of you come to your house and he flirt with your wife is that a good man is that a trustworthy as the muslims they say to us that muhammad is the trustworthy is that the good manner is that the good ethic is that the prophet of god is that the one we are going to take an example for our lifestyle if i take the lifestyle of muhammad i will go right now to my neighbor who have a wife i will knock at his door i will wait until that the, the husband he leave and then i will say to her my heart is a flipping for you what kind of manner what kind of ethic what kind of a prophet what kind of religion the religion who allowed such a thing and give <laughs> Such a privilege for a man he claimed to be a prophet. The mic is yours, my friend. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is too much. This is absolutely too much. Christian Prince has literally switched gears. We have gone up a notch. This is going to be something. All right. So, you know what? Yeah, Gabs, hold on one second, okay? Because it seems as though we have got Omar. Uh, I believe Omar is calling in from Saudi Arabia. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though. So, Omar, if I can get you just to unmute your mic okay unmute your mic okay so it seems though you had something to say before omar um if you are speaking right now we cannot hear you what we can do is see the floor so if you've got something to say please unmute your mic right now so we can get you involved all right i think Gaps. i think the floor is going to talk to us it's a genie <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe a Muslim will call us. I don't believe it. This is impossible. Hold on, actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's, he's just on mute his mic. So, Omar. Sorry. Go ahead. Did you have any questions? Yes. Did you have any questions or comments? Yes. Um, I just had a question for the speaker. Um, 
I just wanted to know if he believes that he says the difference between a jinn and a shaitan, or like what's his belief concerning concerning a jinn and a shaitan. That's all I wanted to know. And then I have more questions after. Okay. My friends, so, I, I don't believe in jinn. This is your belief. I'm not a Muslim. I believe jinn is a big fat lie, does not exist. So you're asking me if I believe in the jinn and in, in, in genies. And this is this is your belief, not my belief. Same time, uh, uh, the, the genie himself is a shaitan, and he is uh, as as the Quran describe him. So you're asking me what the difference between them? There's no difference. It's the same kind, except that the first genie who disobeyed okay. Allah. And he was kicked out of heaven. His name is oh. Iblis. And then he have children's by having sex with himself, as we showed you in the screen from your Islamic reference from Saudi Arabia. And as long as you are from Saudi Arabia, I'm sure you are familiar with the website I just showed in the screen. So Shaitan, he is Iblis, the first genie who disobeys supposedly Allah. Why? Because he refused to bow down to Adam. So genie and Shaitan is the same. However, Shaitan is one of the jinn who disobey Allah. And then because of that, Allah, he kicked him out of heaven. Why he kicked him out? Because he refused to obey uh, uh, Allah and to bow down to Adam. But if you ask me, shaitan is right. Why shaitan in the world is going to obey Allah to bow down to, the, to, to Adam? Do you have an answer? What is the reason for Allah to ask the, the shaitan or to be angry from the shaitan for not bowing down to Adam? Okay, so um, Omar, if I can get you to open up your mic, unmute your mic again, and I'm just going to remind you the rules, okay? Once one of our titans is speaking, you need to keep your mic muted. Everybody needs to keep their mics muted at all times, okay? Um, when you've been given the time to speak, that's when you can open up your mic. So right now, um, you've been invited back on to respond. Okay. So again, I just wanted to know, are all in shayateen? That's my question. Yes or no? Is, are is, all shayateen? No, the, uh, according to Islam, and this will make it more funny, according to Islam, yes. there's some genies are Muslims, there's some genies are Christians, and there's some genies are atheists, and there's some of them, they are communist. But I answered you, my friend. It, regarding the hadith we mentioned about your prophet, he command, he said the word shaitan, my shaitan. He did not say only a genie. He is a shaitan. So the prophet was commanded by a shaitan. If you mention only the word genie, then you can say, well, maybe this is a, the, this is just a normal genie. But he said the word shaitan, not me. What you can do with that word? All right, go ahead, Omar. Omar, are you going to respond? Mm -hmm. Hello. Um so he's saying not all jinn are shayateen. Is that what he's saying? Because we believe that every human being is assigned a jinn. Oh, so he, he, he did not say he did not say shayateen. Okay, let me answer you then. Let me answer you, my friend. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Obviously, you do not know what your prophet said. Read with me. Read with me. Be carefully. It was it was narrated from Ubaidah ibn al Walid, etc. I look at I look for the messenger of Allah and I the one is talking is Aisha and I put my hand on his hair He said your shaitan has come to you. I said Don't you have a shaitan shaitan not a genie? He said yes, but Allah he helped me against him and he became a Muslim And let me show you the word in Arabic as long as you claim to be from Saudi Arabia Let us see if you can read Arabic which is going to be funny if you are from Saudi Arabia, but yet you do not know Arabic it says قَدْ جَاءَكَ شَيْطَانُكَ فَقُلْتْ أَمَا لَكَ شَيْطَانُ فَقَالْ بَلَى وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ أَعَانَنِي عَلَيْهِ فَأَسْلَمْ It came to you, your shaitan. She said, and don't you have a shaitan? He said, yes, yes, I do. But Allah, he helped me against him and he became a Muslim. We have a Muslim shaitan, my friend. Shaitan, he did not say a genie. The word is in front of you. And this is your Muslim translation. And this is your Muslim website. And this is your Muslim hadith. And the one is talking is your prophet wife Aisha reporting the speech of your prophet. The mic is yours. 
Oh, my. Uh, yep, go ahead. I know. So, so what, what the speaker is saying that a shaitan cannot become a Muslim. Is that what he's saying? And if he is, can he provide proof for that? <laughs> because at the, end of the, at the end of the day, shaitan can be from a man's my kind and from a man's jinn kind. My friend. And an evil person can accept Islam. Okay. What shaitan means in English is the rebellious one. Hmm. Now, that doesn't necessitate that a, 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 a shaitan or somebody who, from my kind, cannot accept Islam. Whether they're bad, whether they're good, they can any Islam's open for anybody. So what 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 point is he trying to make? Can you clarify his point? My mic? Yeah, go ahead. He just admitted that he is a Muslim believe that shaitan is it it's possible for him to be a good person. The question is where do you get this from? Shaitan is a shaitan, and your God, he announced him as the enemy of mankind. I will send you, and I will make you their enemy. I will make an enemy for every prophet a shaitan. So shaitan, and notice here, that Muhammad is describing this person after he converted to Islam, saying that he is a shaitan. He called him shaitan. He did not say he is a Muslim. Today have a new name. He didn't say he became a genie. He said still he is a shaitan. So he is a shaitan and he's a Muslim at the same time. Shaitan is not a good person. And I have a challenge for you. Can you show me one verse in the Quran stating that shaitan can repent? Because that would be a great idea. What do you say? Say that again. Sorry. Can you repeat that for me again? Please? Can you show me a reference from the Quran saying that shaitan, it is possible for him to turn and to be a good person? Who is he? By the word, when you say he, shaitan, he shaitan, he? shaitan, whoever shaitan, your Quran, uh, your Quran not only yeah. mentioned the word Iblis, your Quran yeah. mentioned the word shaitan, and shaitan yeah. are the children of, sh of Iblis. So yeah. your God, he mentioned shaitan. And he mentioned it, yeah, yeah. So now Muhammad, he mentioned the word shaitan. So let us focus with the word shaitan. Is it possible, according to your religion, that there's a shaitan, he can repent to God and be a good person again? Can you show me the reference? No, that's for you to show me. At the end of the day... Well, my friend, I'm not the one who believe in this. I'm not the one who oh. believe in this. You are, you, are, you are asking me for the wrong... I, I believe in the opposite. I believe shaitan is always a good, is a bad person. It is your prophet who said shaitan is a good man. Shaitan became a Muslim. Shaitan, he commanded him to do good. So you are asking so, me now to prove myself hmm. wrong? That's crazy. I am the one who say against what you said. So when you say something against what I said, you have to prove to me that I'm wrong. In the same time, you said that you're, you're, the speaker is saying, I am not saying that. I'm showing you what your prophet said. Your prophet said, my shaitan. If you go to many chapters in the Quran, as an example, chapter 22, verse number 33, it says that anyone who discuss about Allah, anyone who dispute about Allah, he is following shaitan. Any shaitan, all of them are the same. This is your Quran. So I am. I have a challenge for you. Can you find me one reference anywhere? It says that shaitan is possible for him to repent and turn back to God. First of all, it's not for me to show you that. What I'm telling you is, <laughs> even the most rebellious human being, whether from mankind or from jinn kind, has accept Islam. Shaitan, he became a Muslim. Explain to us that Shaitan, Shaitan is a good person. All, 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 one minute, one minute. All Shaitan means in the English language is the rebellious one. Yeah. So you can have Shaitan from even among Muslims. Those Muslims who are evil and carry out bad acts, they can still be classed as Shaitan. That does not necessitate that they're not Muslim or somebody who's rebellious. That doesn't necessitate that they cannot accept Islam. My friend, this is have nothing to do with our topic. We are talking about Shaitan, who is a genie, not your friend, not your friend. His name is Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. We are talking about a Shaitan who is a person mentioned in the Quran as he's one of the jinns. And your Quran saying clearly that Shaitan is the bad person, and he is the enemy. If you go to chapter two, verse one sixty-eight, 
it says he is your your most uh, 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 like uh, aggressive enemy so you are comparing between a friend in the street saying this guy is a shaitan this is a metaphorical statement we have nothing to do with it we are talking about a shaitan the one who is called shaitan in the Quran is not a person his name is a Christian prince or his name is Omar we are talking here about a shaitan who is one of the jinn he is not a human being and Muhammad is saying to us that he have a shaitan who became a Muslim and when I asked you because you are trying to say to me, is it possible that the shaitan became a Muslim? Why not? You know, he repent. I'm asking you, can you show me any reference in your Quran? It says that shaitan can be a good person because that means shaitan is a good person in his heart. That's mean I can, uh, you see, when I debate somebody, he's a Muslim and then he became a Christian. That's mean in his heart, he have something good and he accepted the Christianity and he became a Christian. Or it's my the opposite that I say, you, you debate me and you made me a Muslim. You will say in your yourself, oh, Christian prince is not really what we thought. In his heart, he has something good. So we converted him to Islam. We are talking about the devil who is a pure evil. And Allah, he cast him out of heaven and he cursed him. He is cursed. This is a curse. He is a cursed and his brogni is cursed. So why you are saying to me something you can't prove? Can you prove what you said that shaitan, it's possible for him to repent and become a Muslim? Yes or no? You're talking about a police. You're not talking about shayateen. No, I'm talking about shaitan, not iblis. Iblis is the first shaitan who have sex with himself. We are not. We are not talking about iblis because your prophet he mentioned shaitan. He did not say iblis. Iblis is the father of all shaitan. He is in right right now. He's retired iblis. So now answer answer about the question. Shaitan is the one your prophet he mentioned. He did not say iblis. We are not talking about iblis. Your prophet he called him shaitan. Why he call him shaitan if he is not a shaitan? Is your prophet that is weak in Arabic? Maybe he's a Pakistani boy, he doesn't speak good Arabic. He called him shaitan, he did not call him genie. Uh oh, so you know what I'm going to do right now? Okay, I'm going to just switch it up small. I'm going to switch it up small. We can continue this dialogue, but let me switch it up because I know we've got so many different people want to get in. Um, so hold on. I want to get Muslims on first, okay? So I believe we have Moi. Moi, you're Muslim, right? Yo, yo, talk to me. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Did you have a question? Yes. Um, the the guy speaking is he? Uh, can you see or? Yeah, he can hear you. He can definitely hear you. Can you see me? No, we can see his blackness, darkness. <laughs> okay. So this speaker, is he uh, is he an Arab? Because I just I just tuned in, I was sleeping, I just woke up because I tried to get this done earlier. I said you couldn't. I just woke up and tuned into your oh, General, and um, I can hear an African Christian prince. Is he an Arab? Yes, he's an Arab. He's an Arab. Did you have a, a specific question to Christian Christian prince? Well, I just tuned in and I heard speaking about Shaytan or something like that. Okay. Is he referring to uh, a, a Shaytan or uh, the Shaytan? Do you know what? I would rather just uh, move from that topic. That's the topic that Omar has been trying to deal with. I know that you emailed me prior that you definitely wanted to get on and actually challenge Christian Prince. So is there uh, something prior that you wanted to challenge Christian Prince on? So we can have a nice productive conversation. No, I just, no, I just want to jump on the job bond because you said that um, no Muslim was going to confront. Okay. So, so stay the, stay on the line for a little bit. Stay on the line for a little bit. I'm pretty sure that uh, Christian Prince may have a, a particular challenge for you, um, and see if you can respond and answer the question. Yeah. All right. So let me go. Yeah. Um, so okay. you, yeah. stay there for stay there for the time being. Um, I know we've got a lot of uh, panel members want to get in. I'm going to go to somebody who hasn't had uh, 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 their voice heard so far. I'm going to go to Gabs first, then I'm going to go to Buddha Bing. So Gabs, go ahead. 
just a quick one for me. I've just been listening. Um, you know, brother Christian Prince has been been dropping, you know, dropping from fire. So I'm just listening out. Um, I'd rather leave it for you know some of the other Christians to get their questions and stuff. Oh. But I'm, I'm just a spectator. Oh. Okay, uh, perfect. All right, let me quickly go to Yusuf. Yusuf, go ahead, Yusuf. Yes, we can hear you. All right, great. Uh, are you the Christian Prince? No, I'm not. Um, just ask your question, and then I'll get Christian Prince to respond. All right. Well, I have a few questions before, but you guys can move on. I'll ask my question five minutes later, okay? Okay. Can you ask a question now? Because we, I want to dedicate um, all the questions right now uh, to Muslims. So make sure that my Muslim audience have an opportunity to speak rather than the Christians and everybody else. So if you have any questions right now, you can ask me and then ask you my question later. Okay. So you, you are a Muslim, correct? Yes. Okay. So do you have any questions for Christian Prince? I did watch his, a few of his videos before, and I mean, one of them was pretty deceptive. He was like, there was a been dated copy of the Birmingham transcript with a page of the Quran. Do you remember that? Okay. Do you know what that is? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so reading, it ranged it from like, what, 700 to like 740, which was like inside the range of the prophets. Being like 700, 740 is specific to after you become a prophet, you know, it's the range, which means like, you know, it's a range before it's prophet during his prophet. And the Christian prince, he used that as an argument, like, oh, it was the Quran was there before Islam, it was at 700, it was within that range, but it was within a range before the prophet, like, he acted as if the range was like also in the prophethood during the prophethood, which it was. But he deceptively said it was out of the range, even though he ignored the rest. And that was pretty, I was just tricking people. Like, are you serious? Okay. Just what I think, I've seen from him so far. All right. I, I believe that the range was, um, you know, prior to his prophethood and a little bit into his prophethood. Um, but I'm gonna just, you know, stay away from if that. You, if you can tell me, if you can tell me, please, what he said, because I didn't understand what he said. For me, it's not clear. So basically, he's uh, stated that you've made a video about the Birmingham manuscripts, mm -hmm. and uh, you stated that the Birmingham manuscripts is during, you know, 700 AD, uh, which is prior to the prophethood of Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And I think his, his dates mixed up. Uh, so I think that Birmingham manuscript actually predates uh, the time frame of when Muhammad was supposedly a prophet and during his prophethood and a little bit afterwards. But first, please correct me. Uh, yeah, first, of, first of all, I'm not the one who said that. I was reading an article in front of us. It says, etc., 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 And it says that this is the date of the letter, not of the ink. The letter is different story. You see, if you go and look at the, at the uh, verses, which is one page. I mean, the Muslims, they are making a big story of it. It's just one page two side and it's written with Arabic which have valves and dots in the time of Muhammad there was no valves and no dots and this is something was added after the Quran which means for sure the writing have nothing to do with the time of Muhammad but the 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 letter is exist from before Muhammad he became a prophet or announced himself a prophet because remember Muhammad he left the first 40 years of his life not as a prophet so Muslim, they start quoting for us, saying that Muhammad is born in the year of etc. But remember, Muhammad, he was for 40 years, not a prophet. However, you Muslims, you made a big story of little paper, does not is not considered even as a manuscript for a very simple reason. For it is not an original Quran and is not written in the language of your prophet. Where is the manuscript of the Quran? We don't have it. The Muslim right now, they have a book, it's called the Quran or the Mus'haf, which is written by many Muslims. And the most popular one is called Mus'haf of Uthman. If we go to Mus'haf of Uthman, let me open page number A. Hold on.
in, in page in page A, and this gentleman he can open the he can open his Quran with me, please. In page A, it says, not me saying, remember, I'm not the one saying that. This is you Muslims. Tarif on behalf al Mushaf al Sharif. Introduction to this Mushaf. This Mushaf is written according to Riwayat to Hafs, according to the report of Hafs, the son of Suleiman, Ibn al Mughira al Asadi al Kufi, according to Asim ibn Abi Nujud al Kufi, according to uh, 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 an Abi Abdul Rahman Abdul Abdullah ibn Habib al Sulma, according to Uthman, according to uh, Ali, according to uh, Zaid, according, according to Abi Kab, according to the Prophet. Now, if we go and see the last name mentioned, which Muslims are trying to copy the Quran from him, his name is Hafs. Hafs ibn Sulaiman. If we go and check the Islamic books about Hafs ibn Sulaiman, we will find that Hafs is accused by the Muslims to be a fraud. And not only that, Hafs ibn Sulaiman, any hadith he come with is rejected automatically. Is not weak, no. Is not weak. His hadith is rejected, is thrown in the garbage immediately. Why? Because Hafs, he is a false fraud man according to the Muslims. So if if the Muslims they agree and if the Muslims they come they, they say to us that Hafs is the one we read the Quran from is a kadhab, which means he's a liar. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is Musnad Ahmad. This is Musnad Ahmad. This is not my book. Sorry, Christian Prince, could I get you to um, share it on your screen? I don't believe it's actually sharing on your... Oh, no. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. I spoke to you. Go ahead. Yeah. With the reference, because Mr. Ahmed has Sahih and Da'if and, you know, the mix. You have to give the hadith. What? 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 what he's saying? So I can authenticate it. Okay, so basically he wants the uh, reference to make sure that the... Well, the reference, snap. my friend, and the, the reference in the front of you, I'm showing you. Let me let me get you in this case because this is Google. I cannot. The link is so uh, long. Let me get you different uh, uh, ref, uh, web page where the link can be short, uh, and you can see and you can get. Uh, uh, so, uh, can I can I to you directly because it's hard with uh, someone else saying what I'm saying to you. Yeah, my uh, friend. But let me ask you first: Is it true that you Muslims believe that Hafs okay. is a is a kadhab? Yes or no? Do you believe that Hafs uh, okay. is a liar? Yes or no? Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Before I do that, let me add your two points that you already add your uh, of the Birmingham transcript. Okay. First, you said that they don't have the marks. But the thing is, they didn't have the dia diatric about marks like Ali, uh, Kasra, Dhamma. They didn't have those. And the Birmingham transcript, it doesn't have the Ali, but Hadamma doesn't have that. But it does have, you know, for a noon, just a dot for that. It just asks for that. You know, for, no, even for a, it, does, it only has for like a noon and that. It doesn't have for a fat. I'm seeing right over here. For a fat, they don't have it. So, like, they don't have the marks, as you said. Usually, when, I don't know what you said regarding that. And when you said about Hassan Hass, he, he was just weak in Hadith. And even this uh, is it's pretty rare. I only heard it like once. It's not even that well known among the scholars. All right. So, like, in, All right. well, where do you. This most of them say that we're first of all, first, this is first you say he's a liar, you have to substantiate this claim with from the scholars of hadith and then show us their reason because sometimes they're weak in hadith because there was like, like Abu Hanifa, they said he's weak in hadith. The reason was because he lived in Kufa and there were liars who would narrate from him, but there was no way to know if they were saying the truth. So the transmissions, people claiming to narrate from him were liars, that's why the scholars. Used to not take from them on the fear that it was fabricated against them. My friend, my friend, you did not quote for me. You did not quote for me. One scholar he said that his hadith is weak. They did not say his hadith is weak. They said he is a kazab matrukul hadith. His hadith is rejected, and they call him kazab. They did not call him that somebody is quoting from him. And not only that, they said he is a thief. And not only that, they said he is a fraud. And not only that, they said he steals books from people and he copied them and he never returned them. And he claimed that those are his books. So what are you talking about? Waqal al Bukhari, Taraku, Waqal Muslim, Maturu, Waqal al Nisei, Laysa Bithika. 
Let me translate for you. Al-Bukhari, he said, they left him, they reject him. Muslim said, they reject him, they left him. Uh, An-Nisa'i said, he is not a trustworthy and he should not write the hadith. And then it says, وَخَلَ فِي مَوْضَعٍ آخر مطروخ وقال صالح ابن محمد البغدادي لا يكتب حديثه we should not even write down his hadith وحديثه كلها مناكير all his hadith it's a pure lie they did not say the hadith somebody reported they said his hadith so you are trying to fabricate answer is not exist and now in the front of us all the reference is showing by the way I'm going to post the link this is your Islamic Ahl al-Hadith uh, 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 website go and read the reference yourself and you will see how you Muslims you keep saying the same thing look look read with me it says Qala Abdul Rahman ibn Yusuf ibn Kharash kathab matrukul hadith he is a liar he is a liar he didn't say they are lying about no he said he is a liar matrukun yada'u al hadith he fabricate hadith so and and the funny the funny you just admitted that his hadith is weak so you, so look look at this look at this lie guys i want you to show me i want you to show me one weak hadith uh, uh, let's, let's listen uh, titan please if you if you can show me it's a challenge can you show me one weak hadith of hafs just one you said you said this hadith is weak can you show me one weak hadith of hafs okay uh, um uh, christian prince if i can get you to do us a favor so he has the opportunity to um verify this if i can get you to post the link in your chat sure. section sure sure so they actually see it um and again family hold on hold on yusuf 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 okay. just 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 bear with me for one hot second i'm gonna get you in um and again family members okay if i can get okay can you guys mute your mic please okay family members if i can get you guys to do us a massive favor if you're loving titans tv if you are loving christian prince's channel and the information that's that's being dispensed right now it's the medicine right now literally on both channels here yeah, we have about 800 people tuned in okay about 800 people in total tuned in right now watching the show live of course we've had many people jumping in and jumping out of these shows so you know if you love what we're doing here yeah please okay support this support this i'm going to ask you guys here yeah, to donate okay if you can donate there's the donate links um on christian prince's channel um you can donate via patreon okay you could donate let me quickly go into this real quickly so apologize quick little advertisement all right you can go onto christian prince's page right now and you could donate via patreon right here simply by clicking the link all right um i'm not too sure there's a gofundme but if there's not a gofundme and you want to support and you want to get something back in return for your support please go on to the amazon link okay Pro christian Pr prince is a prolific author he's written many books uh, pertaining to islam and i would love for you guys to go over there and support christian prince by um you know making sure he can carry on this work all right, Christian Prince is an independent, um, you know, researcher, author, uh, debater, presenter, you know, and the list continues, okay? And he is, as far as I'm aware, he's self-funded, and, you know, a lot of us, we're self-funded, we're doing this simply out of the love for you guys, okay? So if you can support us, it just makes our life that much easier, all right? And of course, if you like guys would like to support us over here at Titans TV, there is the GoFundMe link here, there's the PayPal link here, and there is the super chat uh, button over here as well, where you can go and donate. All right. Um, so yeah, let me just quickly get back into this. And um, hold on, let me see who was it. Who's whose turn is it right now? Oh yeah, Christian Prince was dropping the link. Let me just let me just um, go over. So again, you, as you can see on his Amazon, uh, for those of you guys who are tuned in right now, you can see there is the Deception of Allah Volume One. You know, furthermore, let me actually go onto his channel. And uh, share the link once more because I definitely want you guys to, um, you know, support Christian Prince. This work is not easy. All right, it takes a lot of hard um, work, a lot of hours uh, going through um, scriptures, going through reading, being very meticulous, checking sources, checking citations. It's not an easy task. So if you guys can, okay, please, please, please go onto um, Amazon Christian Prince. Um, hold on, ooh wee. All right, Christian Prince, right here. All right, and you can buy any one of his books. As you can see, we've got the German edition, we've got the Deception of Allah over here. 
we got Quran and science depths in its study. You know, you know, the list continues, the list continues. I don't even want to go on for far too long, but please go there and support Christian Prince. Let me just double check to see if there is the link. I believe Christian Prince, did you drop the link um, for, yes, you did, you actually did. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome to see that uh, a lot of you guys are actually donating. Thank you guys for donating um, to Christian Prince and thank you guys if you have actually donated. Oh yeah, you have actually donated to my channel as well. So thank you. Um, okay, we're gonna go over now to the link that Christian Prince has posted up. All right. Um, so yeah, everything is here. Everything is here. Let me, let me hide this. And um, let me see. All right, Christian Prince. Um, no, let me go over to uh, Yusuf. I don't know. Are you able to read the Arabic, Yusuf? Yeah, I can read it. Okay. Let me know uh, if you need me to scroll down. You have the link, and you put the link in the chat, right? Um, put the link? I can put the link right here in this chat. Yes. Give me one second. Sure. One second. Right. This is what we love doing at Tyson's TV and over at um, Christian Prince's channel. We love showing you the sources and citations. Um, but the simple fact is we don't want you to believe us. We do not want you to believe us. We want you to check it out yourself. We want you to share these um, links and these hadiths with your friends and with your family members. And, um, you know, and get questions answered. If you can't get these questions answered, maybe you need to adjust, adjust your position, okay? Maybe. So uh, let's continue with the conversation. Um, you know, Yusuf, if you need some time, I'm gonna go over to somebody else, right? So I'm gonna give you some time to read this information. Let me go over now to Buddha Bing. Buddha, can I get you to come on? Oh, you can I do can, it. I can now respond to his claims. But are you, yeah, are you sure? Things, like, yeah, yeah. He, he, like, he talks and like, he doesn't have any address to them. He just keeps on going. Okay. But, okay. So first of all, you know, during the transcript, I told him about that. And he said, how to send Asim with a weak transmitter in Hadith only. It's Hadith and Quran. And for Hadith, you need to be trustworthy and you need to have a good memory. And there are multiple reasons. But in the, in the thing he should it only shows that they say he's weak and feet, but they don't say why. And only one guy says why. The guys are the most notable scholars I can see. They're saying, you know, he, people don't take from him, he's weak and hadith, but they don't say why. But there's this one Yusuf bin Abdurrahman, I never heard about all the scholars. And he, I, I asked him, who is this? Who is he, does, he, he keeps on going, he just rambles on. And he doesn't even tell me where he gets, gets this Yusuf. He doesn't even tell me who he is. But all the major scholars, all they say is that he. He's rejected, they don't take from him, and they, they, they don't say why. But then we see that the context is actually from a city from Kufa. And in the, Kufa, in the city of Kufa, there was this also this other scholar, his name is Abu Hanifa. He was he, he's actually one of the four Imams who are the leaders of the schools of thought in Islam. Most of the Muslims in the world they follow four schools of thought. And those four Imams, he was one of them. And he was weak at Hadith. He was weak at Hadith, by the way. It's narrations from the Prophet in Islam. Two things make up the religion the Quran and Hadith. The saying, the Quran, the word of Allah, and the word of the Prophet. So he was at Hadith. And the reason Abu Hanifa was weak at Hadith is to say he's weak at Hadith because the people of Kufa were liars. They were, they were actually the same people who killed the grandson of the Prophet. They left him, and they also, they're the Shia, they're the, the other minor sects now. Yeah? They're the people who originated from them. Uh, in the same city, we see that he is from the same city. The scholars, major scholars, don't see why he's rejected in Hadith. And we see he's from Kufa, just like Abu Hanifa. And we can see, we can deduce that since, since the scholars don't see anything, the people of Kufa were liars, and therefore he was weak. Because the people of Kufa, they couldn't, they were liars, they couldn't trust any narrations coming from him. Okay. You know, it's way too risky. It's, they can't do it. But this guy, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't show the fact that he doesn't show context. He hides the context. He shows one part, doesn't show you the other. Okay, because so I'm, I'm going to get Christian. Actually, you know, show the real story. I'm going to get Christian the Prince. Part, there's seven oh. missing, seven uh, riwaya, seven dialects when I was revealed in. There's six other reciters. Even if he tries to tackle this one reciter, there's six other, you'll have to prove them. But even with this, 
because their recitations were preserved. But this, even with this reciter, he didn't even do it properly. And he, he didn't even, there's no reason the scholars say why he was weak. The Muslims say he was weak in the whole hadith. What does that mean? First of all, this is Quran. Second of all, he, multiple reasons. None of the scholars said why. If the scholars didn't say why, who are you to say why? And we see that he's from Kufa, who are made up of liars. So what, why are you saying this? You're just making stuff up. Your own desires. Okay, so so I'm gonna get Christian oh, Prince to respond. Okay, guys, listen to this. This guy he said they are saying that he is weak, but they don't say why. I mean, I showed him in front of him in the screen. They are saying he is a liar, and they say he said they said he's weak. They did not say he's weak. He, they said he is a liar, fabricator. He's a fabricator. He's a scam. He's a fraud. This is what they did not say he's weak. They did not say where do you get this word from? Can you show me where it says he's weak? They said he is. A, it's in the front of your screen. Wakana hafs akra min Abi Bakr wakana kathaban, and he is a liar. So you Muslims, you took the Quran from someone you believe he's a liar. So you are saying to me that hafs used to lie about the Hadith, but he was honest about the Quran. How in the world can happen that a person he is a liar and a good person at the same time? How we cannot trust him about the Hadith and we call him a liar, but yet we can trust him about the Quran? And as you know. The Quran is more important than the Hadith. If I go right now to the judge and I say to him, I have a guy who got busted many times and he is very well known that he is a scammer. He is a fraud. He has many felony. He even steals books. Read with me. He says that he steals books. He copy books. He is a thief. This is what you Muslims saying. And you are saying to me, scholars did not say that. I just showed you. This is the book of Musnad Ahmad. Uh, Musnad Imam Ahmad is not a scholar. Is he what he is a Zakar Naik? This is Musnad Ahmad. He is saying, Wakana Hafs, read with me. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Maybe you have a weak vision, my friend. Wakana Hafs, Akra Umin Abi Bakr. Wakana Kadaban. Wakana what? Kadaban. Do you know what Kadaban mean? He is a liar. So you Muslims today, you got here, you got your book from a guy described by your highest scholar who is the one is talking not a christian prince that is your books reporting that so you muslims when you say all his hadith is rejected not weak rejected now you say to me his hadith is weak can you show me one weak hadith of this man you cannot why because you muslims dump all his hadith immediately for he is a liar. Otherwise, I have a challenge for you, my friend. Show me right now one hadith of this man Hafs is considered to be weak, not rejected. Can you show me one? I, I, I didn't see the scholars took this hadith. First of all, listen, you absolutely went past that. Which scholar said he was weak? Which let me, let me read for you the names. Let me read for you the names. Obviously, you have a bad hearing, my friend. Let me start from the beginning. You said you have the hadith from the you have you have the link. Let me read for you all the names you wish. There's hundreds of names, and you are asking me which scholar. All of them they are scholars. Let me let us see. Yeah. Read read with me. Read with me. Qala Abdul Rahman ibn Abi Hatim and Abdullah ibn Abi Hamad. His hadith is rejected. I just quote for you at least three names. Let us continue. Wakala Omar ibn Muhammad ibn Shuaib al Sabuni and Hambal ibn Ishaq and Ahmad ibn Hambal and Ahmad ibn Hambal. Take a note. This is Ahmad ibn Hambal. Wakala Uthman ibn Ahmad ibn Samak and Hambal ibn Ishaq from Ahmad ibn Hambal. It is maybe it's fine. وقال علي بن الحسن بن حيان فيما قرأه بخط أبي عن يحيى عن 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 like all those names and you are asking me for a name all those are names all of them so why you are saying to me scholars did not say that وقال النساء ليس بثقة النساء he said he is not a trustworthy do you know what trustworthy mean he is not trustworthy what does that mean he's a fraud because when I say you are not trustworthy, it means you are a bad person. And then he said, وَلَا يُكْتَبُ حَدِيثَهُ And حَدِيثَهُ should not be written, should not be accepted at all, rejected. And look what Muslim, what about Muslim? وَقَالَ مُسْلِمْ مَتْرُوكْ Muslim said that, not me. Muslim, 
Muslim, Matruk, Wakala al Bukhari. Do you know al Bukhari? Heard, have you ever heard of al Bukhari? Maybe you heard of Obama, maybe you heard of a Trump, but suddenly you did not hear about al Bukhari. Wakala al Bukhari, Taraku. I'm not the one who's giving the reference. This is your Muslim website. Taraku, they reject him. Al Bukhari, Muslim, and Nisa'i. And you are saying to me, the scholar did not say that. Should I jump from the window to make you accept what I'm saying? Don't accept, my friend. This is your website. This is your Muslim yeah. article. And you must have yeah. saying that, not me. I'm just sharing with you what I know. Go ahead. Bukhari and Muslim. This is Taraku. Matruk. Matruk means that he's rejected. But they don't say why he's rejected. Why? I don't care. I don't care. Obviously, he's Matruk. That means he's rejected, which means he's a liar. And they said later, what do you mean they did not say? They read with me. Waqala Saleh. Listen, listen. They, they are saying to you why. They said, Waqala Saleh ibn Muhammad al Baghdadi. La yuktubu hadithahu wa hadithuhu kullaha manakir. Do you speak Arabic? Do you know what manakir mean? Do you know what manakir mean? Listen, no, listen, no, no, listen. I'm asking you, do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic or I'm talking to myself? Do you know Arabic? Do you, do you know Arabic or not? Do you know Arabic or not? Which color? Do you know? Uh, first my friend, my friend, I want you to ask to answer me first. Do you know Arabic or I'm reading to myself? Do you know what the word yeah. manakir mean? What manakir mean? Yo, Yusuf, yeah, Yusuf, okay? Hold on, hold on. I want to know, yeah? Okay, we're going to get your questions answered. But the first question is, can you can you read Arabic? Yes or no? Just real quickly. Yusuf, Yusuf, can he you read Arabic? He don't. So he, no. he don't. He, no, suddenly he will go dead now. Arabic. So I'm you, right okay. So you do read I'm Arabic, right yeah. Now. So now I want to know, since you can read Arabic, yeah. So what uh, manakir mean? What manakir mean? I'm asking him. What, what manakir mean? mean? What does the word this word here that was circling right here? What does this word here mean? Munakir. What does it mean? Just quickly, just 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 bear with me. What does the word munakir mean right here? What does it mean? What does the word munakir mean? Manakir, 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 manakir. What manakir mean? He will not hear you, my friend, and he will not hear me. Suddenly he he went deaf. Wait, how does it have to do with anything? It have to okay. do. You ask me, you ask me where they are saying he's a liar. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. I am showing you. So what you are you talking about? What, what, what do you mean what this is have nothing to do? You asked me for the names of the scholars. They said that about him. I quote for you the highest Islamic scholars, starting from Bukhari, with Muslim, with Ibn Hanbal, with Imam Ahmad. And now you are saying to me, look, read with me. Waqala Abdul Rahman ibn Yusuf al Mukharash, Kadhab, Kadhab. He is a liar. What do you want it more clear than this? Why you Muslim, you say about a guy who is a great guy for you. Why you call him Kadhab? Kadhab mean a liar. Do you agree or not? I don't yeah, I think that. I think we may have to do that, okay? Because yeah, okay, okay. Let's just forget. Yeah, forget the topic. Forget the topic. All right. Anyway, next question. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Next question. Hold on, hold on. So hold on. I just, I just, I just want to know if you, if you do speak Arabic. What does the word kazab mean? Kazab. Yeah. Kazab means liar. So over here, Christian princes. Yeah, but listen, listen. The thing is, okay, can I? Okay, okay. Look, the thing is, like, what? Most of them just say he's and the most major scholars in that I can read it right now. You can read it yourself. They just say that he's rejected. His hadith wasn't written. None of them say why. So you're saying he's a liar. We don't even know why. But then we see the people of Kufa were liars. Abu Hanifa was saying reason his hadith was rejected. So you're actually wrong on this, and you have actually a weak basis because it shows that the people of people of Kufa were liars. So. You have a weak, weak basis, basically not. Right, it's me. It's me who is weak. You see, all your scholars agree that he is rejected, and he is rejected for a reason. Why he's rejected? 
he is rejected not somebody reporting about him he is rejected and they say to you why and you are saying to me I have a weak base what are you talking about you are the one who have a weak logic it's in the front of you it says that his hadith is rejected and you said to me they don't say why is that my problem obviously it is clear why I am rejected my story to you if I tell you a story you reject my story it means you reject how authentic I am you reject how we trust worthy I am this is why you reject my story he did not say we reject someone he said about him he said he is rejected he is and they accuse him to be a liar and not only that they accuse him read with me carefully Qala ibn Sulaiman and Shaba and Shaba sorry Qala Yuhya ibn Sa'id and Shaba akhada minni hafsun ibn Sulaiman kitaban falam yurduhu wa kana ya'khudhu kutub an-nas fayansakhuha he took from me a book and he never returned it and he used to take a books and he write it down and he claim it is his own he, they accuse him is that he's a fraud he is a fraud so you Muslims you get your book you don't have manuscript not even a single manuscript or what you have a guy exists after Muhammad 200 years and he was accused to be a thief to be a fraud to be a liar and this is where you get your Quran from I mean he is rejected in the court of hadith he is accepted in the court of Quran that is the most funny logic Muslims they have because either you are trustworthy for whatever you say for you are trustworthy anyway or you are not a trustworthy so when you say he is not accepted for the hadith automatically he should not be accepted for the Quran because the Quran is higher than the hadith which mean it is difficult more to accept somebody to witness for the Quran from witnessing for a hadith because it's a higher value for the Muslims but you Muslims do the opposite you reject him for the hadith you accept him for the Quran in the hadith you say he's a liar he's a fraud he's a big fat liar he's a scammer but in the Quran you say he's good he's wonderful he's trustworthy I mean this is the most funny religion ever you can come through uh -oh. is that okay so it took you so long just to answer that one question. Who said he's a liar? Out of all those scholars, who said you finally brought me something? I just gave you. I just gave you his name. What do you want to get? Do you want me to go and bring you the guy? The guy is dead. Waqala Yahya ibn Sa'id and Shaba. If you did not hear about Shaba, this is your problem. Um, That's me because you are not a person who knows your religion. Go and see who is Shaba. أخذ مني حفص ابن سليمان كتاب فلم يرده وكان يأخذ الكتب الناس فينسخها وكان كذاب. And by the way, he is not only the one, the only one. He says that as an example. Read with me carefully. وقال أح أبو أحمد ابن عدي عدي عن الساجي عن أحمد ابن محمد البغدادي عن يحيى ابن معين. Look how many. Look how many. كان حفص ابن سليمان. حفص ابن سليمان. He was. And أبو بكر ابن عياش من أعلم الناس بقراءة عاصم وكان حفص. أقرأ من بكر وكان كذابا وكان كذابا وكان أبو بكر صدوقا حفص was a liar and Abu Bakr was trustworthy and are you going to say to me who said that after all what I said all the names I mentioned to you you will say to me who said that okay go down scroll down scroll down let me see okay look listen first of all out of those 30 you finally found one from Abdul Rahman bin Yusuf bin Khurash what? Do you understand what he said? Uh, I don't understand what he said. Let me reply. Let me reply. He's been talking for like five minutes straight. Well, you've been talking for like five minutes. Like, uh, I don't know what you're talking for. Like, right? I, I talk. Okay. Okay, but listen. Out of 30, major, 30 scholars, you only found one that says, uh, get that liar. No, my friend, I found all of them say, you are the one is liar now. Let me get you busted. This is the first one. Count with me. Count with me. Stop saying, stop lying. Don't say to me only one said that. All of them, they say that. Here we continue. Abu Bakr ibn Ayyash, min alam in nasi fi qra'a. Wa qala Abu Ahmad ibn Adi, an al-Saji. Look how many. Abu Ahmad ibn Adi, and al-Saji, and Ahmad ibn Muhammad al-Baghdadi. And Yahya ibn Mu'in, they said that Hafs, Hafs, kana kathaban. So now already I gave you five. Let me continue. And you are telling me only one? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And then if we go back, if we go back in the website up, you will see other people, they are accusing him to be kathab because this is why he is matruk al-hadith. Read with me. 
قال عبد الرحمن ابن ابي حاتم عن عبد الله بن عبد الرح... ابن احمد فيما كتب اليه عن ابيه متروك الحديث I'm not going to waste my time with this guy. Obviously, he's a kid. Okay. There's no need to waste our time because all of this is still saying to me, he's just weak. I mean, they are saying in his website, in his Islamic website, in, in their scholars' words, that he is kadhab. They use the word liar. And he says to me, so what? Exactly. So you know what? Yeah, I think this point has, this point to me, uh, personally, Yusuf, okay? Um, this point seems to be proven, um, you know, categorically that there is one, two, three, four, five. I believe it's five, at least five different uh, individuals that Christian Prince has mentioned in that uh, chain of narrations that has stated that he is a liar. And um, I don't know where, what type of wiggle room that you really want no. for that. So that's, that's not true, because the one he quoted with the multiple narrators, it doesn't say he's a liar. I used to you know, take my books to read and copy the books of the people like how you would back then in Africa. used to get a book, copy it, so then they could read it for themselves without borrowing it. That one with five narrators, that didn't even have the word get that inside it, first of all, okay? Second of all, he interrupted me, he went on for 10 minutes. He like, is that how you debate by just talking over your yeah, yeah, we talk over. What the problem? You can talk over me too, but you're 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 not answering anyway. I keep saying showing to you that at least now I showed you five people. They are saying he's a kadab. Still, you are saying to me you got me only one. So why you are lying? Did I show you five names or I show you one? Hold on. Let me let me just let me just get this point clear, okay? Because I, I I just want to get this point real clear. Christian Prince, is it possible for you to uh, share on your screen the five names? I am sure okay? I'm sharing the screen. I just I was reading in the screen in front of everybody. And not only that, actually, Al Bukhari he himself he said Al Bukhari he said he's rejected. Can you explain okay. to me why he's rejected? Because he's good or because he's bad? A Muslim so he said you... he's rejected. And Nisa'i he said, look, look what Nisa'i said. Laysa bi thiqa. He is not a trustworthy. What does that mean? And then we continue. Now, we have already three, and those are big names. Big names. Those are not small names. We have Al Bukhari, Muslim, and Nisa'i. And then we continue. Then we go. We say we find here. Let us read together. وَقَالَ عَبْدُ الرَّحْمَنُ إِبْنُ يُوسَفِ إِبْنُ خَرَّاشِ كَذَّابِ This is number four. We continue. Uh, وَقَالَ الْحَاكِمُ أَبُوْ أَحْمَدْ ذَاهِبُ الْحَدِيثِ He fabricates hadith. وَقَالَ يَحْيَى إِبْنُ سَعِيد عَنْ شُعْبَ أَخَذَ مِنِّي حَفْصْ بِنُّ إِبْنُ سُلَيْمَانِ كِتَابًا فَلَمْ رُدَّهُ شُعْبَ he said he took from me a book and he never returned it. And he used to take books from people and he copy it, which means he copy it and he claim it that this is his own and he never returned it. Then actually we can show you the reference of that too. Waqala Abu Ahmad. Listen, hold on. Let me finish. Waqala Abu Ahmad. Read carefully with me. Abu Ahmad. This is this is now this is number six. An Saji. This is number seven. An Ahmad ibn Muhammad al Baghdadi. This is number eight. An Yahya ibn Mu'in. This is number nine. Kana Hafs ibn Sulaiman. Wa Abu Bakr ibn Ayyash min Alam in Nasi bi Qurati Asim. وكان حفص أقرأ من أبي بكر وكان كذابا وكان what كذابا so now I counted for you live in front of you in the screen nine names saying that he is a liar and you are telling me where it says that please case close case close we'll go back to bed case close all right that's that's case close right there so now let me. <laughs> My friend, this guy now is going to ask me. Give me, give me the ID of those scars. The scars, their names are in front of you. This is your Muslim website. Go now, hang up, and search and find who they are. They are Muslim. They are uh, the, the Musnad Ibn Ahmad is not good for you. Musnad Ibn Ahmad, you know, uh, 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 Ibn, Ibn Hanbal is not good for you. All, all those names are not good for you. Bukhari, Muslim. All those names are not good for you. If you do not know who are those scars, this is not my problem. Those are your scars, and their names is written there because they are scholars. Do you think the Muslims in their books, they will write the name of somebody work in Walmart? They read the name. They say, this guy said, for he is a scholar, not because this is a guy who was walking by, and he said, oh, Hafs is Gazab. When the Muslims caught a person, that's mean he is a scholar. Otherwise, they will not quote him. Anyone who have little brain, he will understand that. If I say 
uh, 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 the campaign of the Muhammad Abu Huraira. He said, why? Because he is accepted as either a reporter or a scholar. So here, those are trustworthy people by you Muslims. Nobody speak against them. Nobody say they are bad. And they are reporting that Hafs is a liar. You are asking me, can you show me their ID? What about you ask me to invite them to your house? They are dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right family tree yeah that, this is what i'm going to say to you guys okay because we've gone way over time okay and what i need from you guys is this to keep your mics muted at all time you already know okay you guys should know the rules already okay when we've got our titans speaking okay you keep your mics muted all right we've invited them onto this platform keep keep your mics muted okay it is actually a privilege to have the opportunity to speak on here as panel members, okay? So rule number one is to keep your mics muted at all times until I invite you to speak, all right? Yusuf, I know we're definitely gonna have, you know, a continue this dialogue, but for now we need to switch it up, okay? So um, Buddha, we've got Buddha in the building. Can I get you to come in and ask Christian Prince a question, please? Yes. Wow, I'm gonna try to switch gears up if I may. First time interacting with you, so hello. Um, can I ask, what denomination of Christian are you? No, no, I hear nothing really. Okay, so the question is, what? Den I know you don't like this question at all. <laughs> I want you to show. Oh. So the question is, what denomination of Christian are you? Uh, uh, you see, we as a Christians, you know, for sure, people they have their opinion. Uh, uh, domination it can be accepted as a school of thought. However, we, uh, me as as a Christian, I follow only the teaching of Jesus Christ. I don't follow any name except His name, because very simple reason: I do not need a middleman. I do not need a priest. I do not need a domination. I do not need a title. I have one name to follow. His name is the Messiah. He is my Lord and he is my Savior. People, they are free to follow whatever they want. I'm speaking about myself. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and he die, he will live. Not whoever believe in a bishop or a priest. I believe in no man. I believe in my God. For every man is a sinner, including me. And the man who trusts a man, he is just for himself. All of us, we are sinners. Then what we expect from a sinner to do? We are sinners. So, I follow only the Messiah, and there's no better name under the sun or above the heaven than his name. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question, Buddha. Okay. Uh, uh, not really, but you, you know what? what's interesting is uh, this gentleman is a Christian, and I haven't heard him spoke for over an hour about any Christianity subjects. He spoke continuously about Islam. So, That's because he's an expert on Islam, and if we have an expert on Islam, <laughs> we want him to talk about Islam. I'm sure, the gentleman, Islam. I'm sure the gentleman can answer for himself, Megatron. Thank you. Uh, let, let, so me, let, me answer, let me answer you, my friend. First of all, yeah. first of all, yeah. my name is a Christian Prince, and all, I, since uh, since yeah. since the topic started, we are talking about Islam. But when you ask me about Christianity, I answered yeah. you. So if you give me a question, I will give you the answer. But don't complain about not talking about Christianity when the topic is not about Christianity. It's like you are asking me. It's like you are getting inside a falafel restaurant and you are wondering where is the shrimp. All right. So, um. Buddha, can I get you to ask a direct question right now, please? Yes. Do you speak about any other religions other than Islam? This is not up to you. I will talk about anything I want. I mean, who are you to tell me what to talk about? Don't talk about Islam. Why? I'm not telling you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question. Not telling you anything. I don't understand. What does the question say again? What is that? What he said? So do the you... question is this. Do you speak about any other religions other than Islam? My friend, I talk about anything come to me through my life. I am a human being living this earth. I'm not an alien. So if there is a reason for me to talk about something else, I talk. However, I have degree. I study Islam. So if you go to an eye doctor, you don't ask him to fix your tooth. This is my specialty. And I talk about things for a reason. Now, if somebody asks me about something else, I will answer based in my knowledge. I don't claim to be a person who is a doctor. I don't claim to be an engineer. I am a specialist. This is my study, and this is what I can help you with. Islam. 
Do you need any help? Okay, that's brilliant. Okay, yes, that's, that's, thank you for the answer. Uh, next question I'm going to ask you is, what what has interested you about Islam so much? I mean, you, you said at the beginning of the show that you're a qualified judge in the Sharia court. Um, I, I'm confused. I mean, if you've got a lot of Christianity, you, just, you sound like a very intellectual person. I'd assume you would have joined the brotherhood of the church and maybe become a professor. But you chose to go to Islam and become a Sharia judge. I'm interested. What 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 interests you in Islam so much? Well, I said if you I don't know if you're listening from the beginning because as long as you heard this part, I, I'm sure you heard the other part. I said uh, Muslims they accuse us of things and there's nobody there to answer. So I decided to be the one who answer. As simple as that. I decided to study and search. Either I will convert to Islam if it's a true religion. Or I'm going to expose the lies they say and obviously it was a total lie So since I was a child Muslims they insult the Christians They make fun of our Bible and there's nobody there to answer them because simply Christians they are not taught in their churches anything about Islam if you go to a church anywhere I don't know what is your religion or even whatever your religion is if you kill yourself Buddha Maybe you are a Buddha if you go to a Buddha temple do they teach you about Islam? No so you as a Buddha person, a Muslim, he challenged you and he said something to you against your belief. How you can answer if you never study it. So my job, and this is why I'm here, is to Basically. teach people about Islam so they can refute this cult. As simple as that. Right, you see, if somebody is taking, a, you know, taking advantage of my religion, i.e. Buddhism, I wouldn't go and learn your religion to teach you about my religion. I would go and learn my religion being a Buddhist and tell you about Buddhism, but you've done the opposite. My I'm friend, that, my uh, friend, take a Christians, and mm. so what you've done is when they will learn Islam to tell the Muslims about Islam. So in fact, you're not mm. promoting Christianity, you're attacking Islam. Is that mm. correct? I'm not attacking Islam, I'm refuting Islam because Islam is based on attacking Christianity, so I have no choice but to study Islam because Islam in the Quran, the Quran is not a book speaking about Buddha, it's speaking about Jesus. And Jesus is my God. The Quran is not speaking about the women she live in Thailand. It speaks about Mary, Maryam, the mother of Jesus. The Quran is not speaking about a guy, his name is Musa, who live in Japan. Musa is one of our prophets. So when somebody, he make a book, fabricated, collection of lies about my God, about my belief, about what I am for, then I have the right to answer him. If that makes me upset, this is your business. I am here to make everybody upset. I don't care who is happy, who's not. I am here to defend the truth, and the truth will set you free. So you are saying to me, well, why you don't go study your religion instead of studying Islam? Who said to you, I did not study my religion? But why I want to stop there, and why and how you can fight a disease without studying the disease? Have you ever heard of a scientist? He want to fight the cholera. He want to fight AIDS, but yet he don't want to have it in his laboratory in order to fight a disease. You have to know what the disease is about. You have to know everything about it. And the more you discover, the more the disease is weaker and you are stronger. You, in your case, you are asking me to live like the bird. It's called the ostrich. When a, when a danger comes, what do you do? You put your head in the sand and you cover your head and you say, okay, I see nobody, so I am safe. But the wolf, he will snap your neck in a second. We don't do that. I am here, a doctor, for the sick one with with this disease it's called islam you don't like my clinic don't come all right um all right okay that's i have a, I have a statement if you allow me so you one, said that one second one, se <laughs> one second yusuf one second let me, yusuf. Let, let me let me say something please no all one right, second right. yusuf okay one second all right so um you know I'm gonna pre-warn you guys, okay? We've been on here for over three, uh, coming up to about three hours now, okay? Christian Prince has been on his channel for over five hours, I'm pretty sure, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know that we've been on for a very long time and it's, we have to close down or wind down the, the show soon. I know you guys want us to continue and continue and continue, but we can't do this all night, okay? I'm gonna warn you guys from now. So, um, everybody who hasn't had the opportunity to speak here, yeah, please just mute your mic and unmute your mic and mute your mic again so I know which order I'm going to actually go to, um, or who I'm going to go to first, second, and third. 
All right. So I can see Megatron wants to get involved. Christian Malik wants to get involved. Um, who else is here that wants to get involved as well? Gabs, not you? No? Hi. Right. So I'm going to go to Christian Malik first um, because I don't believe you've had your say yet. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Um, I'd like to ask a question uh, to Christian Prince. Um, do you think that Muhammad is uh, the false prophet um, from Revelation? Um, or do you think he's like the Antichrist? Or do you think he's neither of them? All right. Well, you know, uh, Muhammad as a person, uh, if you if you get my books, you will find that I study uh, uh, the logic of Muhammad and the mentality of Muhammad and the brain of Muhammad. I believe Muhammad is a sick man. He have a mental issues. This is number one. And we can say as a Christians that obviously Muhammad is possessed and he have a satanic problem. Even the Muslims and even Muhammad himself, he confirmed that. If you go to the Quran and there is a very, very well-known book written by Salman Rushdie long time ago, maybe before many of you even born. It's called Satanic Verses. Satanic Verses is appearing in the Quran as verses, Allah speaking about it, that Allah is going to delete any verses which is thrown by Shaitan to Muhammad, and that is what it's called Satanic Verses. So Allah, he made a promise that whatever Shaitan he put in this Quran, I'm going to take it off. But this is extremely dangerous because now the Quran, not only Muhammad, we showed you the hadith before, that Muhammad is getting commands from the shaitan. And now the command is confirmed in the Quran. But Muhammad in the hadith claim that the shaitan who command Muhammad, he command him good command. Allah in the Quran saying the shaitan command to Muhammad, Allah will delete it. Here we have another problem. When Muhammad, he admit that he is receiving command from shaitan, the Quran saying Allah will take this command from shaitan. Muhammad is still a prophet of Allah, which means he is not fired. You see, if I am receiving command from shaitan, Allah should fire me. I am not qualified to be a prophet no more, for I am receiving command from shaitan. But this God don't care, simply because this God does not exist. This is Muhammad talking in this verse. Muhammad, after he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah, and he said, it is a must for us to pray for them and ask them for intercession. Those are the Gharaniq, the goddess, the three daughters of Allah. We must intercede to them and pray for them. It's a must. And then he bowed down and they bowed down. Muhammad in this stage, he was a possessed man or he was a hypocrite, false man. Choose one. I will leave that to the Muslims. However, the Muslims, they confirm to us that this is what happened to Muhammad. And the Quran confirmed that whatever shaitan he gave Muhammad, we will take it off. But now, as long as Muhammad is a person who received command from shaitan, he delivered verses of shaitan. He delivered verses as it is Quran. To the point now, Allah have a problem to need, to the point he need to filter the Quran. If we ask the Muslims, what is the verses Allah he is speaking about? Not a single Muslim dare to tell you. They will say to you, well, he take it off already. So how you say to me that you Muslims, you recited the Quran by heart and whatever Muhammad he said, and yet you say to me, you do not know the verses which Muhammad recited. So you will take it off. And how Allah allowed such a thing to happen to Muhammad and he is going to receive Quran from the devil, but yet Allah He said, In the Asimukami and Nas, I protect you from people, I protect you from the genie, but he is not protected. Muhammad he said, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can kill you, and no black magic can affect you. And the funny Muhammad, he died by poison and he was affected by black magic, according to the Muslims, not to me. So when you ask me if Muhammad is a false prophet, I say he's a false prophet and he is a sick man in the same time. Because false prophet is someone who make a false prophecy. As an example, if you go to the chapter of an najm where it says that the judgment day is near and the moon split. This is this is a, a verse the Muslim they keep reporting for us saying this is a miracle. The moon is split, my brother. There is no moon split and that judgment day is not even close. Look what Muhammad said in chapter 54 verse number one. That the judgment day is side is there. It's not even near. It's like in the corner. This is a false prophecy Muhammad he mentioned 1400 years ago 
and we are still waiting for the first prophecy prophecy of the first prophet and yet yet the muslims they say to us that muhammad was accused of illusion or muhammad he was accused by the arab that he's a person of illusion but even the hadith confirm that muhammad he used to imagine himself having sex with his wife in fact he did not imagine how much this person is an illusion so muhammad is a false prophet yes but obviously muhammad he have a mental issue and he is using his mental to abuse the title he claimed as you see in front of you the prophet continued for such and such period imagining that he has slept had sexual relationship with his wives but in fact he did not now imagine i come to you and i say to you the doctor he gave me this file about a person and this person he imagined himself doing things but in fact he never did and by the way different hadith says that he imagined that in everything not only in sex so how we can trust muhammad seeing an angel receiving revelation when he himself cannot even to be trustworthy to tell us a story about his sex life in other way or other word have you ever heard of somebody even his sex have no witness because if i want to have sex i should have a partner the women even that was imagination as you see in the front of you so how we can trust such a man who live in illusion he is mentally ill he hear voices muhammad he said that the mountain they say to me assalamu alaikum when he walk in the street rocks they say to muhammad assalamu alaikum muhammad obviously is a crazy man muhammad he said that the camel told him he's hungry the donkey spoke to him he said to him and muhammad asked him do you like females the guy he said no i don't like females this is a donkey from san francisco so he is a false prophet and he is a sick man with no question and no doubt and all of this is coming from islamic books i hope my my answer was not so long yeah. <laughs> all right family okay i want to get i want to get a muslim on um in a hot second where is mo <laughs> is mo in there? okay whoever's mo uh, oh yeah mo is in there i'm going to get you on in a hot second because i definitely do want a muslim to um ask a question before christians and atheists gets to ask their questions also um i'm going to be closing down this show very soon and what i would love to do is get my audience to as soon as i close down this show please migrate over to christian prince's show i'm still going to be in the background moderating my guests uh in order for them to ask christian prince questions but i want to divert my traffic over onto christian prince's uh station so you guys can subscribe um you know and you know literally come on you know he's going to send you out the skype details so anytime you you want to come on and ask questions uh, pertaining to islam you can go there and ask your questions anytime for as for a muslim you want to go on there and challenge christian prince you can go on there and challenge christian prince okay i want to show the love to christian prince and i want my audience to reciprocate that love uh, to christian prince by subscribing you know i can see people donating right now yep go onto his channel donate to his channel right now i'm seeing anthony this is on christian prince's channel anthony richards has just donated to subscribe to uh, Lily Curvo Logic, aka the killer of uh, Islamic belief. So uh, please go on to that channel and subscribe. Also, um, you know, I want to do a little game. Can I do a little game with you guys? All right. So far, yeah, Christian Prince's channel has got 274 likes. My channel has uh, 293 likes. Okay. So I want to see, yeah, can we have a battle to see who gets the 300 likes faster? Okay. Can Christian Prince's channel, um, you know, overrun Titans TV and get Christian Prince to over 300 likes first? Let me see. Who are the real supporters of Christian Prince? I'm seeing it's flying up, 277. That's not good enough, family. That's not good enough. We've got 300 already, okay? So, you know, Christian Prince, please, 284. Come on, family. Yeah, you lot have been watching Christian Prince for, you know, years now, months, some of you days or weeks for others. Please, I would like to see those numbers skyrocket. That's it, 293. Come on, we've got seven more likes before we continue. I'm going to keep on waffling until we reach that 300 like mark on Christian Prince's channel. Come on, family. Um, there we go. We reached 301 likes on Christian Prince's channel. Absolutely fabulous, wonderful. I like that. You know I love that, right? We love showing the support. We love showing the love. This is what we do. All right, um, let me go over now to Moe. 
Uh, Moe, can I get you to ask your question to Christian Prince, please? Moe, if you're there, or if there's any other Muslims on the panel, is there any Muslim on the panel that hasn't had their voice heard yet? Please come on. Moe, I've seen you been uh, talking in the uh, chat section with uh, Megatron and other people. Please, if you've got the opportunity to unmute your mic, hello? unmute your mic. Yes, hello. Hello? I think it's the guy with the hair that wants to talk. Okay. Um, we're going to wait until all the Muslims uh, get the opportunity. All right. Um, who else? It's Megatron then. I'm going to go to Megatron who Hello. has. Okay, Hello. go ahead. Go ahead, Molly. Go ahead. We're just new to this hangout things, man. I'm trying to work out what's new. I'm new. You got to excuse me. No problem. Okay. Um, uh, Christian Pen uh, Prince mentioned a couple of points here. Yeah? Yep. So I want to get to them. The first one was the satanic verses. Uh, bullshit. Excuse my language. Okay. Remember, okay. remember that we have rules where we have um, children. So we're not even to, before you we're continue, not even to go into that one. Before you continue, before uh, you continue. The poison. Before you continue, Moe, I'm gonna just highlight to you that we yeah. have children yeah. watching these channel, these shows. Okay. So sorry, watch sorry, your mouth. Sorry. Yeah. Continue. Sorry. I'm new to this. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so no, no swearing whatsoever. No, you're not even. Um, no, no swearing. Uh, minor swear words. Okay. All right. So satanic verses. Um, that's already been debunked. Uh, the poison. I'll get to the points one by one. The poison. He mentioned something about the poison. Uh, what was his po point again? Uh, that the prophet um, said to. Can you please tell him to repeat what was the poison part again? Okay. He died yeah, by could... poison. Your prophet, he said that if, so you eat, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison and no magic can affect you. Right. And your prophet was infected by magic and he died by poison. And regarding the satanic verses, why you said that word? It is in your Quran, it is in your hadith, it is in your interpretation that your prophet received satanic verses. Are you accusing Allah? That he is lying. I just showed you the verses in the Quran in the front of your eyes. So what do you mean? This is uh, whatever. This is this is a shame that you're insulting your God because you call it that word when Allah is the yeah. one who said satanic verses is it true? Um, unauthentic sources all the time. So I showed you, you the Quran. Not. I showed you the Quran. Are you are you saying the Quran is not authentic That's sources? Sources. Please, Christian, if I can just speak without you speaking over me, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Megatron, I know you're a troll and you have complete and utter hope of realized over the last okay. uh, six months that you're going okay, to focus, focus. Nothing but for Islam. So please get out my. Yeah. Can you move your mic? Kalam, I'm talking to Christian Prince Kalam. All right. Okay. Can All right, focus, focus, come focus. On, you're good at meeting Muslims when they're talking to Christian priests. Okay, Moe. But you're not good at meeting people when they Moe, I advise, uh, I, jump in and uh, what's called. Do right. I make sense? All right, Moe, I advise you to uh, just watch us, no. just watch yourself. Yeah, um, but yeah, but continue. Um, go and really? ask Christian Prince your question. Continue. You know what I said? You, you ask, I want ask you Christian to, Prince. Uh, mute, mute. Mute everyone that was talking to Christian Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. And, uh, no, and then, just, just, just ask a Christian Prince your question, isn't it? What I'm trying to say is, I'm not going to even let Megatron uh, affect uh, my Osbo. All right, so um, he's, he mentioned these 20 verses. Uh, they're unauthentic sources, all proven to be uh, fake. I was, if, uh, if they were true, then there would there wouldn't be a single Muslim today. Uh, second of all, tempted by the devil. Um, I think the only one that was tempted by the devil was um, his God, apparently Jesus in the Bible. Can you address that? And uh, second of all, in the uh, third of all, the Bible mentions poison, where you can drink poison if you believe in Jesus, you will you will uh, you will survive, you won't die. Is um, he tried to mention that the Prophet Muhammad uh, was saying that the end of times was 
and not far away, or Judgment Day was not far away. Well, uh, we know he's an Arab speaker. Uh, when the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that, he meant it wasn't far away, meaning there's not tomorrow after tomorrow. And uh, this this world has uh, been gone for centuries and centuries. So not far away doesn't have to mean tomorrow. And um, I think it was Paul in the Bible who uh, predicted that Jesus will come back in his lifetime. So you done? Literally. So you done? So can you please address all those points, Christian Prince? Sure. Let us go. Let us go one by one. You by said that. You said. Let me answer now. You said that this is a proven to be fabricated. This is my challenge to you. Can you show me? Can you show me? Where you get the proof? I mean, it's very easy to say it's a proven to be fabricated. Obviously, you just admitted that the Quran is a fabricated book because it's your Quran saying that yes. Allah is going to delete whatever Muhammad received as satanic verses. And you are saying to me, it's a proven to be fabricated. Everybody heard you be my witness. This guy, he just said that whoever said that the prophet received satanic verses, he is a fabricator. He is a liar. But the Quran is the one who said that. Secondly, you said it's a proven to be fabricated, but yet you never quote for us who is the one who said so. If we go right now and read the interpretation of you Muslim scholars, we will read the following. Read with me if you know how to read. I hope you are not illiterate like your prophet. Read carefully with me. This is your Muslims. This is your Muslims statement, not me. What the Muslim statement saying? What your scholars saying? Let us read together. I hope you are reading with me. وقال البيهقي في سنته volume number two, page number two, volume number two, page number three, one fourteen. عن إكرمة عن ابن عباس ابن عباس is the cousin of the Prophet. This is not the guy who walk in who work in Walmart. The one who work in the cashier. This is the cousin of the Prophet. And Muhammad he said, no one. Allah, I pray to Allah. That to make Ibn Abbas Hebrew Ummah, which means the scholar of the nation. This is the only one Muhammad named as a scholar by his own word. And look what he said. When the Prophet he arrived, he was re reciting the chapter of An Najm. Until he arrived to Let us translate. He said, Ibn Abbas, remember, this is not a Christian prince, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. When the Prophet arrived reciting, do you see Allah and Al Uzza and Manatu Salit al Ukhra, the three daughters of Allah? In his tongue, the words came saying, Those are the goddess, which is, they are the highest goddess, which their intercession is needed and to pray for. Then he continues saying, Faqala. And then the Mushrikeen, the Kuffar, the pagans, the Arab, the family of Muhammad, they heard Muhammad saying that and they were so happy. If we continue, we can show you in many places. Not only that, even he bowed down. He bowed down and they bowed down with him. Let us give you more reference because you might say now, this is how the Muslim, by the way, they, they, they finish the topic. They say, ah, it's proven to be lie. It's proven. Where? Show me. Give me a reference. Majma al Zawaid, very number seven, page number 70. Uh, and then we can go. We say here, we, we, we found the following. Let us read together. Qala Abdullahi, etc. Abdullah, he said, and this is reported in Muslim, very number two, page number 88, and reported by Al Bukhari, very number six. Page number 50, 52. And Al Aswad bin Yazid and Abd Qal, Awala Sura Unzirat Fiha Sajatu Sajda Sajatu Wan Najm, Fakala Fasada Rasul, was Sajada Man Khalfuhu, Illa Rajul. Let us see what this is about. This is about Muhammad receiving the satanic verses. He, he bow down and the Kuffar bow down for him because they are worshipping one God. And you are telling me this is a fabricated, this is Sahih al-Bukhari in the front of your eyes. And let me show you the hadith number so you don't say to me it's weak because I know the recipe. Muslims, they have one answer. Anything you say to them, it is weak. It's proven to be wrong. Value number six, book number 60, hadith number 386. Let me show you the other one. 
Hold on, we are not done. All right, this is Sahih Bukhari too. All right, Hadith number three eight five two, book number sixty three, Hadith number seventy nine. Hold on, I'm not done. Hold on, Sahih Muslim. Allah Apostle, he recited the Surah of An-Najm and performed prostration during the recite and all those who were along with him prostrate themselves except an old man. But those who are they, those men? They are, read with me. Those are Kuffar, the guy he died and he's a Kafir. They are bowing down with Muhammad. And this is the reference in the front of you. Sahih Muslim 576. So you Muslims, when you say to me, this is a proven to be a lie, it is your lie. Now let us go to the poison. You said to me that the Bible says, if somebody drink poison, he will not die. My friend, we are a Christian, we believe that Jesus himself died. So obviously, you have a stupid understanding of our Bible. If our God himself, he died in the cross, how in the world you get that verse with that meaning? That verse saying that whoever believe in me and die will live. So the Messiah, he said, we will die. He said, we will be crucified. He said, we will be killed. He said, we will be slaughtered. He said and spoke about someone like your prophet. He said, time will come and people will slaughter you, will kill you, thinking they are doing favor to God. And he's speaking about Muhammad and his followers. And yet you are saying to me, we believe if we drink poison, we will not die. This is not what it says. It says that if you drink poison, if they kill you, if they slaughter you, you promise life for you are alive with Jesus. Now we go to the Quran. Muhammad, he said, if you eat seven adwa, seven adwa, you will not be affected by the black magic and you will not die. Do you see it? If you eat seven adwa, then we go, we find the funny Muhammad saying something more funny and more hilarious. He said that he died by poison himself. Read, read carefully with me. Read carefully. You claim to speak Arabic, maybe, right? Here we go. Ya Aisha, ma azalu ajidu alam al ta'amu alladhi akalta bi khaybar fahada awanun wajattu in khita'u abhari min thalika sum. This is the hadith. Sahih al Bukhari. Don't tell me Sahih Bukhari is weak. Prophet said, in, in the element of which he died, which element? In which he died. Not the element of being sick, he's dying. He used to say, hold on, hold on, stop. Used to say, used to say, which means every day, every day, every day. Used to say, oh, Aisha, I feel the pain I ate, I ate, uh, the, 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 I feel the, the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. Khaybar is a Jewish tribe. Muhammad, he slaughtered those people and he raped their women. I ate at Khaybar and at this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off from the poison. But hold on. Muhammad, he just admitted that he is a false prophet. Why? Because in the Quran, Muhammad, he said that Allah said to him, if Muhammad is fabricating Quran, I am going to size him from his right hand and I am going to cut from his, I'm going to cut his orta. So the Quran confirmed if Muhammad is a false prophet, what Allah will do? Thumma laqata'na minhu al-wateen, chapter 69, verse number 48. Let us go to the translation. So you see, I am not making things up. If he is, if Muhammad, if Muhammad is fabricating Quran, if Muhammad making up Quran, certainly we will size him by his right hand. And then certainly we are going to cut his artery of his heart. But hold on, isn't it the hadith of Muhammad saying that Muhammad, his orta is being cut off? So Muhammad himself here, he got himself busted. He died by poison. Yet he claimed he ate every day ajwa, seven ajwa, and nobody can destroy him. He died by poison, infected by black magic, but he claimed that the Quran says that he is protected from the man and from the genie. He died by poison, but yet the hadith about the poison say that the Jewish woman, when she gave him poison, she said to the prophet, when he asked her why you did that, she said, well, if you are a prophet of God, Allah will protect you. If you are not, then you are a thief and you will die. And he said, Muhammad, he said to her, there is no way Allah will let you succeed with your exam. Which means he said that for sure I am a prophet. And he agreed with this. He will not fail into that test. But as you see, Muhammad, he died by poison. So when you say to me, this is rejected, this is not accepted. I heard this song thousands of times before. And you have no idea you are talking to who. I said nothing yet. But I know 
our time is up. Otherwise, I can continue into tomorrow. She your reference. You have no ability even to carry in the top of your back. The same as the Quran saying that Allah, he wrote the book of the Torah, all of it in tablet to Musa. Imagine how many trucks. I can give you more trucks than the trucks of Allah, which he gave to Musa to carry. Are you ready? All right. On that note, okay, family, I know we've got so much, so many of you guys here that want to jump on and have your say what i want to do right now okay is close down this show okay i want to close down this show but if you guys are here and you're supporting us over here at titans tv please um you know share this with your friends your family members as many people as you possibly can if you haven't already hit the like button hit the like button and then those of you guys um you know who aren't already subscribed to titans tv Titans TV, we do loads of discussions and presentations, um, you know, and debates uh, constantly at this channel. So if you love these types of, um, you know, discourses and, um, you know, exchange of ideas and information, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button as well. But I want to actually shut down this show right here, okay? And then I want to continue the show over on Christian Prince's channel, all right? So again, let me just quickly... Um, you know, you know me, I do shameless plugs uh, all day long. And these plugs are not even for my own channel. These plugs are actually for other people's channel because I love, I believe in um, sharing and shedding love upon other people, okay? If you've got a candle, it is your duty to light at least one, two, three, ten candles if possible, okay? That's what true love is all about, all right? So please, um, you know, Christian Prince is an awesome channel or the Arabian Prophet is an awesome channel to go and subscribe to. Um, you know, you've heard him so far. You've heard him so far. I don't even have to say anymore. I don't have to sell, uh, you know, Christian Prince to you. Please go over to his channel, subscribe to his channel, and we're going to continue off air on his channel, off air on Titans TV, but over on Christian Prince's channel. We're going to continue these discussions. All right. Um, and I'm going to invite a atheist, okay, to ask the next question. Then we're going to get some Muslims to ask some questions. Uh, and until Christian Prince says, you know what? It's enough. I need to come off here. I need to look after my family. I need to eat some food. I need to do whatever the case is. All right. So right now I'm going to sign off, but I'm going to get ask Christian Prince just to leave us with some last words over here at Titans TV before Thank we go you. over to him. Thank you, my friend, for having me. It was an honor to be in your program. I'm glad to meet all the good ones, and I hope I did not get anyone upset. But let me tell you, when you say the truth, you make people upset. You cannot be making people happy unless you are totally hypocrite, even your family. If you agree with everybody, it's me you are no one. Just be truthful and be honest. And I, I, again, I thank this gentleman for having me. He's a great friend, great person. I am honored to be between all of you. I love, I love the black African. I defend them always. And I believe that all of us, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. And we have one fight against the devil, even if you're not a Christian. For me, I believe you are my brother in Christ. I believe in that. So please don't reject what I believe, for I love you. And my Lord, the Messiah, he said, love them, love even your enemy. Bless them. Bless those who curse you. I bless and I pray for the Muslims who they are cursing me right now. For the Messiah, he love you and he don't hate you. And if you don't mind, my brother, if you don't mind, post the link of my, my channel under the info of your video there so people who like to join us they can join us and they can continue with us and whoever you are a muslim please feel free to come and debate me i am the christian prince and i am a prince by his name the almighty god jesus the christ and his name is glorious thank you and god bless you all thank you thank you very much again family um you'll find all the details either in the chat section or on on the need in the description box uh for christian prince's channel so please go over to christian prince's channel and support us over there we're going to be there till the early hours of the morning so please go and visit the channel all right family we're signing out but we're going to be continuing live over on christian prince's channel peace and love i'll see you on the other side amen young 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 cali baby uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, okay, Christian Prince, okay, we are live on Christian Prince's channel right now. Um, I know we've got a few other people that would love to ask you some questions over here on Titans TV. 
I'm going to open up the mic to Megatron. Okay, so Megatron, the your mic is open. Please ask Christian Prince your questions. Christian Prince, brilliant show. Thank you very much. Um, can you describe how Allah is a man God according to Islam, and that how He has ten fingers? And just please elaborate on the anthropomorphic features of Allah, please. I, I, I did not hear the question. Can you repeat, please? If you can, uh, I think the sound is coming to me because I'm you are using the phone. It's not coming good. So if you can tell me, Kalam, what he was saying. Okay, so I think he's asked you basically um, for the man god. So in Islam, I believe they have a man god. So could you just kind of um, you know go into some detail with yeah, that? Well, please? you know, the Muslims they refuse to accept that how Jesus is God, but yet he's a man. But in, in the fact, uh, uh, you know, the, the Muhammad. He described his God as a man. And actually, Muhammad is worried that in the judgment day, the Muslims, they will be confused about uh, between two people. One of them is the Antichrist, the false Messiah, and the other one is Allah. Now, if you read with me here, you will see the hadith saying the, the, the following. Uh, this is the hadith, and this is a sahih hadith. I hope Muslims are watching. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal. The Dajjal in Islam is a false liar Messiah, which means he's a person who will come and he will claim to be the Messiah, but he's a false man. That I'm afraid that you may not understand. The Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed, and eye sightless, and neither protruding and nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, about him and you should know that your Lord is not one-eyed so Muhammad he, ha he is afraid that the Muslims they might be confused about the look of Allah and the look of the false Messiah and the only difference between the look of Allah and the look of the false Messiah is the right eye and that give us a clear proof that Allah is a man because why in the world he is describing how short how tall his hair, his whatever he, he even his 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 bum. Why he is describing all those things, and then he says, "I am afraid that you may be confused between the false Messiah and Allah." You should know that your Lord is not one eye. So obviously, this guy he have the look of Allah, copying the look of Allah. But remember, the Hadith says that this is the false Messiah which supposedly he is claiming to be the Messiah. So how he is trying to clone the Messiah, but yet the Muslims, they will think that this is Allah. That because obviously Muhammad is saying here clearly that Allah is a man and he's not sure. like the Messiah. Okay. Okay. They actually rejected him. That the, Our Prophet said he is one blind in one eye. And our Prophet said Allah is not blind in one eye. So he is not Allah. So what's the difference between them? What's the difference between Allah and the Antichrist? The meaning, 180 degrees. My friend, explain to me what is the difference. The, the Muslim will be confused about what? The Muslim will be confused about what? About the look. About the look. The look of who? The look of the false Messiah. Hold on. About the look of the false Messiah. Not about the look of the false Messiah and the real Messiah. He is saying, "Your Lord is the Messiah. Is your Lord?" Is, is Jesus is Jesus your Muslim is your Lord so Muhammad is speaking about Allah after anyways how is that even related what? how is that related what are you saying what's wrong with you why why would you say such a thing when it's absolutely the opposite I'm not saying I mean my friend my friend what is the difference what is the only difference so we can recognize the false messiah from Allah what is the only difference according to your prophet you're, you're the false messiah okay I'll use the same my friend, my friend, I want an answer. What is the only different? What is the only different between the false Messiah who is a man and your God? Can you tell me the answer? What is the only different? What is the only different? I'm, I'm waiting for your answer. There is only one different in the look between Allah, your Lord, and the false Messiah, which is the eye. Do you agree? What are you, what are you, what are you saying? It doesn't say. There is only one difference. It says, it says that. It says that. It says that. Muhammad, he mentioned only one difference. It says you should know. You should know 
that your Lord, Lord is not one eye while the other guy is one eye sight I didn't see it see it what do you mean what do you mean people are laughing my friend people are laughing if you try to deny it it that's mean you are you are making yourself a joke for everybody this is what it says he's comparing between the look of who the look of a man a look of a man not a god not an angel this guy is a man he is a human he is going to come to us claiming that he is the messiah but yet he is powerful he will do miracles listen carefully listen listen don't talk and he is he is going to make the muslims confused confused about one about him him being what being lord being god so muhammad is saying to you be careful allah is not one eyed this guy is one eyed so what is the difference between them okay can i just um okay, pause I'll tell you. I'll tell you. pause Pause one second, um, you. Yusuf. Just one second. Um, is it possible, okay? Because I'm, I know it's going to be very difficult for me to moderate um, this chat section, okay? So I know Christian Prince is able to moderate on his channel and mute on his channel. So if I can get you guys, okay, to migrate over um, via the Skype, okay? So if you've got Skype, Yusuf, if you can go over onto uh, Christian Prince's Skype channel. I believe it's the uh, debate TV. Let me just double check that. Yes, yes, debate TV. Debate TV. So, do you have Skype, Yusuf? Uh, uh, just uh, post my channel in your in your page, and if they are if they are if they want, they can go there, and we can continue. I understand that you know you are tired, and actually I've been here for many hours, but I don't mind to take the Muslims for a couple of hours more because it's, oh, yeah, sure. it's because it's fun. Okay, so Yusuf. Okay. Um, you know, just because I can, I, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really upfront with you. I know I'm not going to be able to moderate it uh, completely. So, if you have Skype, do you have Skype by any chance? I don't. You don't have Skype. Okay. If I'll it, download it. If it, okay. Yeah, but why not you? Why not you? Yep. Sorry. Come on. Yes, Maui. My friend, uh, 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 I'm going to take to go off to my channel. And thank you very much for having me here. It was really a pleasure to be there. And all the Muslims yeah. who want, they can call me live. I'm still there. I might stay there for maybe uh, maybe half hour. We will see. I'm already for more than six hours here, you know. So yeah, I know. and we are here almost every day. So Muslims always they can call us. And you yourself, feel free, my friend. As I said, yeah. you can invite me anytime you want. If I can come, I will be so happy and I will be honored. Maybe one day I can see you face to face and have some coffee together. Definitely, right. that would be wonderful. Thank you very much, yes. and have a good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, bye Christian. Bye. So, all right, guys. Is my voice good? Did you have fun? I'm sure. I'm sure. Christian Prince, he lost. I mean, like, come on. We have to admit. The Muslims, they made me shish kebab as usual. This is why always every month I have to spend a lot of money buying glue because they turn me pieces. After I close, I have to spend the whole night putting myself together. I mean, what I can do? Weak. We are weak and we don't make sense. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Uh, welcome. I hope today the people they saw how crazy this cult is. This is the most stupid religion. They have big mouth. They call us names. They call us kuffar. They call us najis. They call us whatever they call us, but they cannot answer a question. They are used to talk to people who have no knowledge. People who knows nothing. They expect you to talk about uh, Usama bin Laden. ISIS, ISIS, hmm? ISIS is not Islam. Yeah, this is what they do because simply they always meet people who they are sadly uneducated. Education today became rare. People they waste their time, you know, watching silly stuff. Actually, if you go right now, if you go and check any live channel which is run by a woman showing her panty, you will see how big the number is. There's apps in the internet. Like life, me, press crop, whatever they call them. A girl, she is sitting, uh, sorry, sitting and she is uh, putting her toes in her nose and she is getting boogers and she have like 15,000 watching. 
and we have 365 I mean this is how it is a woman she is doing unboxing for her bikini she have 30 people th watching life life not after six months life Muslims they are not used to see people like you and people like me and today they learned a big lesson that Islam is not what they taught Islam is a big false religion and my friend knowledge is good for all of us you see when you go and you sit between people even like friends you are visiting somewhere the second you, the second you open your mouth when you are a person of knowledge people they listen you feel that you have your place right away people they notice you this is why I advise everybody to educate yourself education is not a school I did not learn about Islam from the stupid Islamic school they never answer a question I used to put my hand up they say not you I have no answer no 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 don't, don't, don't ask me uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 don't ask, don't ask, and this is exactly what the Quran teach in chapter 5, verse 101, ask no questions, you can ask questions as long as they are silly, like, brother, should we shave our underarm in the morning or at night, a brother, if I shave around my private part, is it okay to use a machine made by the infidels? A brother, a woman, she had uh, a drink, some ice cream with me, and she is my fiance. We are going to get married. Is that true that now she became my sister? As long as you are asking silly, stupid questions, you are welcome. The second you ask a real question, the gate of hell will open on you. Just be silly, and that it's all what is needed. And today, uh, you know, we wanted the Muslims to talk to us, to debate us, and what we got, we got nothing. I mean, what uh, I wasn't debating anyone. Where is the debate? I cannot even find a person to debate me because those they don't, they have no idea. Even those who claim to be Arabic speaking, they claim to be from Saudi Arabia, they claim to be Sheikh, they grow their beard. I mean, if a beard growing will make you a scholar, well, let us have a goat here. A person who knows Islam very well, he will never dare to call me. Only those who do not know Islam, they call. Because they think they can play games. A person who is really a scholar, he knew that he is not a match. Not even for a five-minute fight. He will leave here without toes, without nose, without fingers. And I'm not talking about, about violence. He will lose his teeth, the same as Zakir Naik, brother Titter. When we asked Zakir Naik, to debate me, he said, you need to bring with you 2,000 people to fly to Bangladesh. I mean, I imagine I need to carry with me 2,000. I hardly, I can't pay for my ticket to go there. But do he there? Shabir Ali, after he agreed to debate me in the ABN TV, he sent a message to ABN, says, I apologize. I am busy with my PhD. But you agreed already. We set the date. Suddenly you are busy. How come you are not busy with David Wood? How come you are not busy with other ones? And since that time he's busy. I mean, he this guy, he finished his PhD. He got three kids after the PhD. And still he cannot do it. Even people, they challenge him life when you are going to do it. My friend, this is a very stupid religion. For those who they are texting me in Skype, my friend, don't text me in Skype just to say to me, how are you? Skype is only for those who want to call me. And you do not need actually to add me. 
if you want to text me in Skype, if you have something important, you can. But it's just to say hi, how are you? Please, you know, I have a lot of people in Skype. I love to talk to all of you, but as you notice, my voice is gone. I am here since 4 30 p.m. and now it is 9 25. That's almost exactly five hours. All right. Uh, so if you want to add me in Skype, I have no problem. If you have a question, you want to send it to me. We have Patreon. The, the site is underneath. You can post for me a question there in Patreon, with the place for donation. Don't worry, you do not need to donate. You know, Just make an account, and you can send me a question if you wish. There's, um, you know, I don't want you to, to be freak, to, to freak out. Uh, you need video replay to see me after well, you know this video is is a uh, is uh, recorded already and by the way i don't have i don't mind if people they copy my video and load it in their in their uh, pages feel free i have no problem with that you can cut it pieces if you want like i was answering about a certain topic you can cut it pieces and uh, you know you can do it all right Uh, do we have any any Muslim? Who is the one is confused? Who is the one is confused? I'm not sure. Do we have any Muslim here? And guys, you notice how it was easy for our brother Kalam and from Titan TV to get Muslims to call. How come I cannot get the same? I will tell you my reputation speed me you know what i mean they thought that it's going to be like a just normal discussion like we go and we say some stupid things you know paul paul you know I, I forgot to answer about paul to get him busted and show him that paul in the quran so uh, uh, it's very difficult for me to get muslims to call us But if somebody else he have an invitation, they come. And look what, what our friend here he said. If you go back in his video, let me show you. Let me show you who he invited, and you can search the names. Those names, all right. Uh, those names here, let, let me show you what, what he said. Oh, there's advertising. Okay. Oh, man. Listen, tonight, family, yeah, um, we're going to be live, okay, tonight with, you know who Christian Prince is going to be in the building. I'm just going to wait for everybody to just kind of tune in. I know it usually takes about 15 seconds before everybody gets in. So I'm just going to wait a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'm going to know if you're here. If you hit the thumbs up button, let me know that you're here by hitting the thumbs up button. And let me see where my notification gang, gang, gang is at by hitting me up in the comment section. Oh, man. Yeah, what's really good, man? Yes. Yes. So finally, you know, the much awaited Christian Prince will be on Titans TV tonight oh my gosh you already know it's going to be something that's going to be spectacular right you know this do you know this i know this do you know this though that's the question so yeah we got christian prince coming on tonight um you know this guy is absolutely phenomenal okay absolutely phenomenal and it seems as though yeah i we've asked okay we've asked several muslims at speaker's corner i'm talking we've asked muhammad hijab We've asked Adnan Rashid. We've asked Ali Dawa. We've asked so many different individuals here to, of the Islamic faith to come and debate Christian Prince. Every single one of them, every single one of them made a hell of a lot of excuses to say, uh -uh, I ain't debating Christian Prince. I ain't debating Christian Prince. And from then onwards, I realized Okay, my Muslim community are shook to debate people that have a little bit of knowledge. They're so used to debating people that are completely ignorant, um, you know, of Islam, the Quran, the Hadiths, mm -hmm. and uh, Christianity. They, they this is exactly what happened always. 
when he told them it's a Christian prince, all of them they run away. You, you, do you, did you hear the names he, he he asked them to come? Did you hear the names? Phenomenal. And it seems as though Listen. gang 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 is at by hitting me up in the comment section. Ah oh, man, yeah, what's really good, man? Yes, yes. So finally, you know, the much awaited Christian Prince will be on Titans TV tonight. Oh my gosh. You already know it's gonna be something that's gonna be spectacular, right? You know this. Do you know this? I know this. Do you know this though? That's the question. So yeah, we got Christian Prince coming on tonight. Um, you know, this guy is absolutely phenomenal, okay? Absolutely phenomenal. And it seems as though, yeah, I, we've asked, okay, we've asked several Muslims at Speaker's Corner. I'm talking, we've asked Muhammad Hijab. We've asked Adnan Rashid. We've asked Ali Dawa. We've asked so many different individuals, yeah, to of the Islamic faith to come and debate Christian Prince. Every single one of them. Every single one of them made a hell of a lot of excuses to say, uh-uh, I ain't debating Christian Prince. I ain't debating Christian Prince. And from then onwards, I realized, okay, my Muslim community are shook to debate people that have a little bit of knowledge. They're so used to debating people that are completely ignorant. All right. So this is how the story is made. Muslims, they debate you only if you do not know. As simple as that. If you know, they say goodbye, bye bye. And you need to learn something. If you learn when I'm debating Muslims, there's something maybe uh, many of you is not aware of. Let me put something nice in the screen so we can relax after those many hours. Uh, the Muslims, you hit them with something. They say to you, it's refuted. Now, if you are a person who is not, let us say, alarmed and ready, you will let it go. Oh, the whole thing is gone by saying it's refuted. Do you notice? It is refuted. <laughs> it is refuted. Where? One. Did you? So they try to, av to avoid answering you by saying it is refuted. Well, I am here to for, for the I am here to refute me, my friend. What do you mean it's refuted? Nice to meet you. So they try to escape the humiliation by saying it is refuted. And that's it. As simple as that. It's refuted. The prophet did this, it's refuted. The Quran says this, it's refuted. I mean, this, can you imagine how easy it is? Like the Muslim who, call, who called me before, uh, uh, you remember he said, uh, I don't care. You remember him? I forgot his name. He asked him, he said, I don't care. So I hang up on him. I said, if you don't care, if you, if you don't care why he did that, so why I care for to talking to you. Same as this guy, Nightmare, what is his name? He said to me, I'm not prepared for this one. Oh, he's prepared for the other one. They are they are like kids. And the 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 when you start spanking, then they cry and they do things in their diaper. All right? Yeah, it's not my concern. I don't care. Yeah. Anyway, I think everything was good. I hope you guys you like it. Don't forget please to subscribe if you are new in our channel. And join us tomorrow at 4.30. I will do my best to be here at 4.30. And I hope the Lord will give me my voice to be able to talk tomorrow because I am noticing that my voice is going down. So I want to say, guys, thank you. May the Lord bless you, all of you. I'm so happy to have you all. And I'm so happy that our Lord is the truth. Otherwise, it's going to be disappointed or disappointing for us. We are victorious not because of a Christian prince. This is not what the reason. The reason is that we have the most powerful name. Same time, we follow his step. He said, read the books, search. That is the second step. Because to fight the devil, you don't fight him by a stick. You fight him by knowledge.
They will not come to you with a gun. That is easy to fight. They will come to you with deception. Read the books. And then have faith. And faith is powerful. Knowledge and faith and the truth, they work together and they bring victory. So victory by his name, we accomplish. And victory by his name, we have. And victory by his name, we will be victorious even in the judgment day, as the Quran itself said. And with this, I say to you, God bless to all. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe before we close. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.